recording started. Okay, cool. Uh, right, Platinum Trophy RTA. This is a run where you start from a fresh profile. No trophies are unlocked currently, 0 out of 56. Goal is to start from a fresh profile, and timing starts when I begin the game, and ends when I get the Platinum Trophy. Okay, cool. <laughs> Always a standard thing to do before we actually do runs of Platinum. Okay, now let us begin. Am I doing this level 1? No. Because I need to hit level 100 for a trophy. Mist cannot skip this cutscene because this cutscene is an unskippable cutscene that he cannot skip because it is unskippable. Yo, Takashi, what's up? Hey, KP, hope we're doing well. Where do you grind to level 100? Uh, Traverse Town 3, primarily. I've been having these weird thoughts lately, man. Weird. Like, is any of this for real? Or not? Get to jam out to my favorite song. Oh my god, this song is such a bop. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Yo, Richie, what up? Thank you very much for the good luck. You didn't see P5S on that home screen? Well, that's because I haven't put the disc in yet. Sorry. <laughs> I'll put the disc in when I, uh, you know, actually play the game. I need the disc in for this run right now. Yo, Flounder, thank you so much. JJ Video was entertainment while you downloaded new games? That's cool. You're very welcome, good sir. Yo, Bumalingus, what's up? <laughs> Yo, Shine. Thought you got it digitally? No, I got it physically. I got P5R physically, so I figured I'd get a P5S physically as well. I don't know, I'm kind of uh, inconsistent with what I choose to have digital versus uh, physical. I don't know. Like, I feel like when it comes to the KH stuff, I usually get physical things, but I didn't for uh, Melody of Memory. And never too late for that, I suppose. I'm gonna buy a uh, KH for like the 50 millionth time this year, when the 20th anniversary eventually rolls around. You know you can skip this cutscene now? No, I don't believe you. <laughs> Impossible. Yo, motherfucker, thank you for the good luck. Or Happy New Year, even. <laughs> or both. <laughs> you said good luck, like, right after I, I thought that's what you said. Fantastic, I can read your mind. Mind games? Let's do it. KH does turn 20 years old this year, in a couple months. Crazy. Square just sells a rock for 20th anniversary now, dude. They're on those, uh... <laughs> they're on that whole, uh, thingy that people reported from Twitter that, uh, we're not gonna talk about. <laughs> Yo, Superstainy, thank you so much for the two months, bud. Hey, Mist, happy new year and have fun with the plot run. Thank you so much, bud. Welcome back to the Mist continent and enjoy the emotes you can use on Twitch for the next 30 days still. Greatly appreciated. It's okay, Square just announced that thing, uh, yesterday, to, uh, cut down the queue of the FF14 stuff. <laughs> it was, like, my favorite reply to that tweet and made me laugh for a few minutes. Okay, I need to make sure I don't pick the wrong stuff here, okay. Choose the staff, drop the shield, 90 XP route, and we should be fine from there. At least for a little bit going forward. Yo, Kai Kai, what's up, dude? But anyway, I hope you guys have been, uh, doing well. <laughs> I'm hopefully not going to have a, you know, varied schedule anymore. I was kind of all over the place toward the end of December, but, uh, going forward now, January should be plentiful of streams, so I'm looking forward to that. Ah, oh, come on, dude.
Missed the first four minutes, I don't think this is worth it for me now. <laughs> I mean, the first four minutes was uh, DMCA material stuff, so I mean, didn't really miss anything too heavily. But I hope we're doing well, Chris Good. Yeah, everyone who stops by today is uh, obligated to watch until I get the Platinum Trophy. You're not allowed to even leave your chair to, like, use the bathroom or anything. You're not a loyal viewer. I'm happy I was able to squeeze in a few streams before the year ended, but I was like, yeah, I am so... <laughs> I am so all over the place. Okay, Night Route. On that note, I'm gonna get a drink and take a slash. Sounds good. What did Square say yesterday? Uh, stuff. <laughs> Shadows 2 always being an, an annoying, 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 me, oi, noi, doodle bob noises. Cannot wait, dude. This is just gonna be a stream full of me looking at my notes every two seconds. It's gonna be great. Oh, and I also wanna put on uh, this. Okay. Any tips to beat ONS and Dark Souls? Um, no. <laughs> Look for the pattern in dodge. That's about it, unfortunately. I didn't really do enough of that fight to really gauge exactly what was going on. Man, my undefeated trophy is already boobard. Man, that's too bad. EXP route for Plaid is Knight, because it takes the least amount of EXP to hit level 100. Yo, Stag, what up? Thank you very much. Happy New Year's to you as well. Hey Purge, what up bud? Thank you very much. Same to you. Already feeling good about 2022. But yeah, um, I haven't really touched much of Dark Souls since I finished it a few weeks ago. I've just been so busy with other stuff, I haven't really taken the time to like clean up, do post, uh, like New Game Plus and other things, and just kind of go for maybe all achievements. That's definitely something for me to do in my spare time, but uh, just haven't really had time for that. <laughs> it's okay. Yo, Donald, what's up? Thank you for the good luck. Hey, Huey, hope you're doing well. Hey, Diabetes, thank you very much. God, I cannot tell you how nice it is to have the fast, uh, camera when you press R3 in this version of the game. It's so much better. Is Plat Trophy all trophies? Pretty much, yeah. There's 55 normal trophies, and then there's 50, the uh, 56 one is the Plat, and Plat is basically every achievement in the game. So pretty much, yeah. Think of a number between 1 and 10 if you guess. If I guess, you'll sub. It is number 6. Probably not.
Dude, I did not actually guess it right. It, it was? Wait, what? Yo! I am just that awesome. I pre-watched my own fucking stream. <laughs> well, damn, dude. I mean, you can sub if you want, it's okay. <laughs> I really wasn't expecting much from that. Dude, the producer is already making 2022 spicy this season. What the heck? I uh, didn't like that. My, uh, my, my, my Sora character stopped moving for a second because of platforming. That was bad. Stream is live. Chat is pre-recorded. No, chat is, uh, future recorded. Yo, Dakashi. Thank you so much for the sub, bud. I appreciate that. <laughs> Welcome to the Mist Continent and enjoy the emotes you can use on Twitch for the next 30 days. Much appreciated. Happy New Year to you. Why is the digital deluxe version of Stranger of Paradise 90 bucks? I don't know. Never heard of that. Dude, I'm, it's, it's such a nice break doing this once in a while. I mean, it's a really lengthy run, but the completionist aspect and also the better camera <laughs> on top of that kind of makes me happy. I mean, to be fair, a 1 in 10 guess isn't, like, astronomically, like, unbelievable, but it is very unlikely it would happen. <laughs> I don't know, whenever people say a number between 1 and 10, it's like I, I automatically take 1 and 10 out of the equation. And I feel like psychologically, you're gonna want to pick a number that's like somewhere in the middle more often than not, because it's like equidistant from 1 and 10. So I just kind of went with 6, because that kind of fits the bill for both of those. Like if I said guess a number between 1 and 10, I'd probably pick 4, 5, or 6, or like between 4 and 7. <laughs> Because it's the fur th furthest away from 1 in 10, respectively. That's not necessarily the case, though. Someone could literally just say, like, that they were thinking the number 1. <laughs> just to fuck with people. How come I don't use a loadless timer for this? Because there is no uh, PC run of this being able to be done realistically currently. I'm playing this on PlayStation 5, not PC. In order to do an all-achievements run on PC, you would have to buy the game again, and uh, that's not very fun. So I'd rather just do it on PlayStation 4 slash 5, where I can just make a new profile and do as many runs as I want. Because Epic Games is cool like that. Did I get a new DualShock 4? I did. I got a nice, cool black one. Which I'm still breaking in, so I'm a little bit weirded out by the new, like, foam and stuff. In, like, little, uh... Stickiness on the control pad. <laughs> control stick, whatever you want to call it. But that'll be okay, it'll, it'll wear off eventually. Oh my god, is that a consistent dark side too? Oh. I don't have to worry about random crits because EXP0 scales my damage, that's so nice. If you said between 1 and 10 and the number was 8.63, would that be fair? 
I mean, it is between 1 and 10, but that's, uh... You could literally pick infinite numbers if that's the case, if you want to go, like, beyond whole numbers. Hey, Curlebs, what's up? Nice to see ya. Here with your sis? Hey, hello sis and Curlebs, I hope you're both doing very well. Nice to hear from you. If I gotta clarify integers, I'm gonna just walk away. Yeah, true. You dadded so hard this morning, made breakfast on the grill, cleaned the kitchen, fed the baby, and got everyone down for a nap? Oh, man. Well, my, my run is over because I died to Leon. I'm so bad at this. Yo, Nazda, happy new year to you. Sorry I missed that. <laughs> Come on! Uh, yes, please. <laughs> One thing I do miss is that saving on consoles a little bit slow compared to PC, but that's okay. Yo, Fox, what's up? Thank you very much for the good luck. Hopefully better synthesis RNG this time, that'd be cool. And if I don't, then it's okay. My main goal is finishing. I'm not even comparing to splits today unless the run actually ends up being pretty good in, in the late term, because I don't want that to affect my mentality. I pretty much always commit to a full run, even if it's not that great across the board, because, uh, <laughs> no. I, I think attempting more than one thing, unless it's like at the very start, perhaps, but that's about it. Once I get my first trophy, I'm committed to the profile, because I can't take the trophy away, which happens like 20 minutes in after Traverse Town. Why don't you have times on your splits? Uh, because the category is completely RNG and it's not worth looking at pace and just doing the run. I have uh, splits archived, like if I tabbed over, I could show you my actual comparison, but I'd rather not because it's just not really worth it for this category. Yo, yeah, Zach, thank you very much. So We submitting RPG Limit Break to <laughs> a plaid to RPG Limit Break this year? Uh, probably not. <laughs> it's not necessarily for the fact I would consider it consider submitting it if it actually was interesting, but it's not really interesting because half the run is synthesis farming. A JJ run of KH1 would be much better. But if uh, a lot of this run didn't just come down to a lot of Hades Cup and a lot of synthesis in the second half, it would, it would be up for uh, consideration, to be honest. I mean, time does matter. It's just that if I take a death anywhere, then I have to reload the game and I lose in-game time, if that makes any sense. Unequip EXP0 for dodge roll. Uh, take Goofy's Ether, And I'll take a potion while I'm at it. Um, fire to the correct button. There we go. Very good. Huh. 
Can I submit a speedrun to America's Got Talent? I don't think I would submit anything to America's Got Talent, to be honest. Hopefully I'm not forgetting stuff. <laughs> RNG is pretty much festered everywhere in this game, but it's significantly a big part of the run in the last, like, three to four hours. Because I purely go fast depending on when enemies feel like dropping their synthesis items, I need to complete the synthesis list, which I need to get every trophy. I never do runs like this with the intent of actually trying to, uh, PB. Because it's just, it's it's basically up to the game, and it's already been decided if I'm going to PB or not, regardless of how well I play. I guess that's not entirely true for the first half of the run, but once I get to cycle 2, it's pretty much all in the game's hands, if I can go fast enough to PB, so not worth getting that invested for it, in my opinion. Um, third district blue trinity, and then Merlin's house blue trinity, and that's it for now. Uh, pretty stones are just a collectible, or you could sell them for money if you want, uh, whatever you wish, but doesn't really have any true usage aside from just being there or selling for money. Would you ever consider seriously going for a Platinum Grind? Yeah. I just don't really think that it's really important when I have a lot of other things that are much more feasibly attainable. <laughs> Plant can certainly go much faster than it currently is, because I think, like, what record is 949? And that was on PS4, so PS5 with good RNG should be relatively not too bad to improve it. But it's also, like, simultaneously, it's cool when you get, like, fully completed runs that are better than your previous, but does it really matter when the only reason you really PB at a certain point is just you, get, you just got luckier? I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't have that satisfaction in the sense of, like, I played my ass off till I get the time that I did. I, it's more of a case of I played well and the game was very nice to me, and that's kind of a big part of it is the second half. <laughs> hey, Full Metal, hope we're doing well. Happy New Year to you. Yo-ho, Mayo! Thank you so much for the 10 gifties. Holy moly. To Freel, Alcoholic Dog, Anazda Purge, uh, Big Dobbs, Mr. Shuttle, Morgoveld, MJ Cullen, Joker Asex, and Kidders. And as for the 10 of you, welcome to the Miss Continent. Enjoy the emotes you can use on Twitch for the next 30 days. Thank you so much, Mayo. Happy New Year to you. And I hope you're doing very well. Hey, Zoyam, what's up? Why another? Because I owe what's it called? I owe two plat runs for sub goals I hit in November. Oh my god, I got a trophy. <laughs> cool. You're a bit sick, but I'll live? That's good. Hopefully it's nothing too major. Hey, Blue Bolt, what's up? Wishing you a good year as well. Nice to see you, buddy. Happy New Year, hope spends wells. Yes. <laughs> All is well that ends well, and does well, and is well. <laughs> and, uh, other stuff, I don't know. I'm doing pretty well, hopefully you are too. Ah, food. Mmm, grab that! Grab it! Fuck! <laughs> Come on, man! What do you mean I couldn't grab that blueprint? Oh, that's so annoying. Yo, Nicoladius, what's up? Thank you for the good luck on the plot. I need these blueprints, man! What the heck? Okay, there's one. 
Yo, Itchy Boy, thank you very much. Happy New Year to you as well. And thank you very much for the good luck as well. I have done, I have had a very good holiday season, Mile. Thank you for asking. Uh, now that it's New Year's though, I gotta get back on that uh, healthy shtick with dieting and get back to the gym and other stuff. <laughs> I have a lot of personal uh, New Year's resolutions. I'm gonna look forward to filling out the best I can. Now, I've not been uh, super public about it though, because I don't want to, what's it called? I don't know. I've just never really been one to be super public about stuff like that, because I'll know what I did, and that's most important to me. Thank you for the good luck, Full Metal. Am I right saying the Playa Trophy requirements are different on PS3 and PS4 slash 5? That is correct. Um, PS3 plat is very different from PS4 slash 5 plat. Um, on PS3, you had to beat the game three times, one on each difficulty. You had to get every single gummy blueprint, not 30 blueprints. I think those are the main things. There might be a, a handful of other stuff that I'm not thinking of, but it all, but because of the requirements of needing uh, all three difficulties and needing to do every single gummy mission, you had to go out of your way to do extra stuff in the run like, to set up for gummy ships and everything. Ah, oh, come on. I'm just more or less focused on setting out what I wish to achieve going forward, and resolutions are just kind of there as a reminder for me. I'll know, I know, I know truly what I want to do, but if I don't do every like single minor thing, it's not going to be a big deal. Most important thing in life is to be happy with what you're doing, and if you can achieve more goals this particular year compared to last year, that's all you can ask of yourself. Yeah, there is no split until Riku 2, because I have to wait four hours for a power-up at the Clock Tower. So the first part of this run is basically do as much stuff in the game as you can before that becomes available. Above all else, be happy with who you are and what you're doing, and then if you can achieve other stuff on top of that, then that's good. Favorite part of the Plaid run? Um, rare truffle grinding, because it's a very unique aspect of power leveling really early in the game that is not utilized pretty much anywhere else for most other categories of KH1, and it's a nice little niche sort of strat that is done partway through that people may not be that familiar with. I will consider doing another uh, Plaid KH2 run. In fact, uh, <laughs> one of my resolutions this year, which I said I, want, I wouldn't be very public about, but one of them is to try to do a plaid run of every cage game this year. At some point, but uh, I have a lot of time and a lot of stuff to do before that happens. <laughs> ah, no, I should have grabbed that blueprint, damn it. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Greedy Plat's not that bad, actually. I think you can do most stuff on Beginner, and then just do a, uh... Quick thing on Proud Mode to get, like, EXP Zero or some shit. And for, like, all abilities unlocked and whatnot. Although, I could be wrong. I'm not exactly sure how 3D Plat is handled, but I thought a lot of it was done on Beginner Mode. New to speedrunning, what's a split? Uh, do you see that thing on the left that is highlighted over everything else? It says Riku 2 and it has like a kind of a bluish like over tone to it. That's currently uh, the split I am working on. And if I were to uh, use my hotkey to split for it like right now, then it would be, I would finish that segment. And I basically issue that whenever I complete a certain part of the run until I finish the game. Yo, RJ Cross, thank you very much, I appreciate that. Happy New Year to you as well. Go 
course. There is New Game Plus in Dream Drop, but I think uh, you'd unlock trophies. <laughs> First, second, and fourth abilities on Tarzan. Um, take your potions just in case. And that's everything for now. So I think you'd have to do like a new game uh, speedrun instead of a new game plus speedrun because you'd unlock trophies for just playing through the game normally otherwise. I know nothing about 3D's Platinum Run, so, uh, you're asking the wrong person. <laughs> Is there a Critical Mode trophy for 3D? I thought there wasn't. I don't remember that actually being a thing. There is? Huh. Well then, never mind. It's weird, I remember- I thought I remembered when I got Plaid initially a few years ago, Crit wasn't a requirement, but what do I know? Because I don't remember finishing Crit and getting the Platinum Trophy. <laughs> Dalmatians in Hippo's Lagoon, Dalmatians in the Vines section coming up here, and then Blue Trinity in Climbing Trees. Yo, Hokey, what's up? Thank you very much. Any big plans for the new year? Uh, quite a few, but we'll get there as we go. <laughs> uh, if I had to list off a bunch of stuff I plan to do this year, we'd be here all day and I'd forget a lot of uh, specific things, so... The shorthand answer is yes. What those are? Uh, wait and find out. <laughs> Is it possible to be Atlantica at level 1 without- or right after Monstro? Um, I don't know. Never tried, to be honest. Probably, it just wouldn't be very fun. We're gonna be here all day anyway. So? <laughs> that sucks. I'll have to grab that uh, chest after Power Wilds then. It's fine. Yo, Light Kyrie, thank you so much. Happy New Year to you as well. And just in case bad things happen, let me save the game. Be saving a lot in the first half of this run, just in case a uh, game sucks. <laughs> Thunder, here, here. Yeah, um, if there's in-game trophies for crit, those aren't counted, I'm pretty sure. We're only strictly going after the actual trophy that's built into, uh... Like the PlayStation 4 slash 5 list, specifically. Hey, McWiggles, am I winning? Uh, so far, yeah. Not too bad. <laughs> oh, I'm not used to this. I'm used to having a uh, friggin' what's it called? Blizzard here. And I'm also not used to having 3 MP. This is like a not terrible Power Wild segment. <laughs> Hmm. 
Can I trade you my beginner any percent magic for yours? No. Uh, I think that's a bad offer. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Sir, get over here. Thank you. good power wilds not too not too bad the only thing that kind of sucked was sabor hit me out of uh, grabbing the dalmatians but otherwise not a big deal <clears throat> mr sir <laughs> Yeah, you're not allowed to change your equipment for uh, the first cycle. I have to beat the game without doing that. It's kind of annoying. Do not touch your equipment. <laughs> oh god, I have to remember not to friggin' like proud any percent muscle memory, a lot of stuff. I'm playing on PS5. Should be in the uh, title, but I might have forgotten to uh, put that there. We'll see. <laughs> I could change that later if it's a problem. It is there? Okay, good. <laughs> no, it's okay. Reading a title on Twitch is hard. I use a DualShock 4 to play the game on PS5, yes, because I don't like uh, DualSense for this game specifically, but it's not a bad controller. It's not my cup of tea. Yo, Yona. Not what I was going for, but okay, sure. Maybe I should play this safe and not clean the fuck out of this area. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Get him all the way over here. Okay. I probably didn't have to do that, but considering a death is really really bad in this category <laughs> i'll take things a little bit more cautiously yo denzel thank you so much i appreciate that hey ombre thank you thank you uh split list because i don't want to potentially be put in a bad mood if rng is bad <laughs> So if I don't really know exactly what my pace is, I feel like I'd do better just trying to get through the game quickly. We'll see. Maybe I'll switch over to an actual comparison if the run's good late. But last time I did this, the run was not very good once I got to cycle two, and it kind of uh, was bad with my mentality, so... 
Not that it really matters anyway, because, like I said, uh, RNG plays a gigantic role, and if you can even improve after a certain point anyway, and if I play well and the game sucks, then that's fine. Um, I got my PS5 from Target. For, uh, 500. I didn't pay, uh, scalper price. Oh my god, a trophy. <laughs> I love it. Yo, Ravioli, what's up? Thank you very much. If I've missed anybody, by the way, I hope we're doing well and I'm sorry. <laughs> Plat's a very focus-intensive category because of how much shit you have to remember, so if I miss names every so often, I apologize for that. Either way, if you've said hi and I missed you and I'm bad, Happy New Year to you and I hope we're doing very well. And thank you for any good lucks I've also missed. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to track consoles down, man. I'm grateful I was able to find one somewhere. And I've actually already put it to decent use. Uh, two platinum runs, I played Dark Souls. I got a few other things going for it as well. Should be fun. I'll grab that. <laughs> I need to keep reminding myself that the blue staticky spheres uh, kind of important in this category. Grab those. <laughs> Normally in like any other instance, it's just like whatever, but... In plot, you really want to pick up any any of those you see. You paid 3k for a PS5? Oh no. Uh, yeah, I would say you kinda did, my dude. <laughs> Holy moly. I wouldn't pay any more than like six or 700 for a PS5 if I was desperate. 3k is so much. Hey, Beef, what's up? Cheers to doing dumb runs on it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Happy New Year's to you as well. Another year of really bad choices in playing video games in the fast method instead of actually enjoying them for what they are. Um, and Blue Trinity here. I do not need to grab the Dalmatians yet. Grab those on the revisit. Didn't play 3k, or pay 3k? Thank god for that, dude. <laughs> Had me scared for a minute there. Yo, Anxious, what's up? Thank you so much for the good luck. I hope we're doing well. Happy New Year, my dude. Please, no. <laughs> I hate this. Why is this Crank Tower fight so bad? Get them, you fools! Stop picking up money, please. Thank you. Okay. Oh, 
Potion on flower, push rock into water, and then elixir and tea party garden, and then just do the rest of Wonderland like normal. This should help. This should help. Oh, I forgot to stench glitch here, right? Oops. <laughs> uh, good old English. I forgot about that. That's whatever. Not that big of a deal, thankfully, but yeah, if I'm playing on English, I need to remember that that's a thing I can do to save a little bit of time. Uh, when you... It's a little bit tricky for me to explain, but there's basically like an English-only glitch utilizing the journal. It makes uh, the text like super quick during uh, that one set of exchangements. I haven't actually done it myself and or kind of forgot that it even existed. <laughs> and I'm also not familiar with it too much because I mostly play Japanese uh, KH1. So someone else could probably explain it better than I could, but small glitch that saves time with text boxes. Why am I playing English? Uh, so I can read synthesis items because they're really hard to keep track of otherwise. I usually play Japanese because it's uh, faster with text boxes, but for Platinum specifically, the time save warranted from playing Japanese versus English is probably going to be lost when I'm scou scouring through the menus to find out what synthesis items I have in the last like few hours. <laughs> so effectively it wouldn't really save me much time unless I learned exactly what everything was, like pretty, like, reasonably. Which, with enough practice, I definitely could do that. It's not like so much of a crutch I need English, but I just wouldn't be used to it. I keep forgetting that, uh... Because <laughs> I have my circle and X button uh, swapped for uh, Japanese control as opposed to English control. And the stupid thing about, uh, the version differences is that, uh, what's it called? They never flipped the button for shooting between the two versions of the game for gummies, so it's actually X to shoot stuff instead of circle like it normally is. It's a little bit weird to me to get used to that, so I keep, like, breaking partially during missions when I'm trying to shoot stuff. <laughs> Land in first district. Equip treasure magnets so you can pick up money more feasibly. Because uh, we really need money since we don't sell half the shit we normally sell here. <laughs> Yo, simple. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. 
Yeah, I have a new black dual shock four that I'm using at this point. That's something I actually ended up getting yesterday, so that's pretty cool. Any gummy related trophies? Uh, there's a, you have to complete at least one set of three gummy missions, get 2,500 gummy ships uh, destroyed from enemies, and get 30 total uh, blueprints in KH1 in order to uh, get every trophy. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, be very careful here, because I do not want to sell certain things or my run is completely, like, screwed up. <laughs> Sell potions, high potions, uh, not much actually. <laughs> uh, it tells me not to sell ethers, elixirs, defense up, camping set, or synthesis. So that's like 80% of my stock. I guess we'll find out. Yo, Anth, what's up? Thank you so much. Sell these, sell these, keep that, uh, key, sell the tent. Sell these. Sell the pretty stones, and that's it, okay. Did you get- oh wait, no, I'm reading stuff bad. Yo, Waterlord, what's up? New Year's was fantastic. Everyone hasn't been too cursed yet. Uh, no deaths in the first hour. And uh, I haven't forgotten anything, and just generally stuff has been relatively smooth. So yeah, I would say Plat is off to a good start. <laughs> we'll see how that is in a few hours, but I'm doing okay. Shit. How much better do you think Plat could be rerouted? Hard to say, because I feel like a big basis for a Platinum run is if we can skip the Clock Tower power-up or not, but there's several complications with various fights, like in just the normal unchanged armor and even some super bosses. If we do skip that, so I mean, I don't really know. If it can be reworked that we don't necessarily need that power-up in Clock Tower at the 4-hour mark, maybe, but as it seems from what people have done with testing, it's just not a good idea to skip it. And then beyond that, routing is kind of uh, a little bit weird, because, like, half the run is already figured out. <laughs> I would say Plaid is reasonably routed out okay now, although I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be surprised if another overhaul happened in the future, just, I don't know. More stuff would have to be figured out for it to really have, like, a major rerouting done. It would just be difficult to uh, route synthesis better than it currently is for a few reasons. Oops. Uh. Ah, okay. Because we effectively do like two sets of synthesis farming. Every time we go to a world with Bambi, so uh, it's worked out so that we do the minimum visits like necessary to do a bunch of stuff. So. We'd really need, uh, I like, I, either I would have to look at it, like, very heavily, or someone else who's very, uh, in tune with the whole synthesis shindig <laughs> to really make an overhaul. It's kind of icky to touch, though, because KH1 synthesis is so bad. So it's one of those things, like, it, it probably could be looked into a bit more, but simultaneously it's like, ugh.
We pick up a pretty considerable amount of power-ups, yeah. Like, if it's a power-up that we can attain in KH1, as far as, like, final mix and stuff, we probably pick it up. Just purely because we really need the strength not being able to change our equipment for literally the entire first half. Uh, we don't get the power-up at what's-it-called? At Jungle Slider? But besides that, I think we get pretty much every other one. Sub-9, in theory, might be doable with, like, literally TAS RNG, but it wouldn't be realistic. Yeah, that was a good, uh, gummy route. We got three blueprints from stuff there, and that was good. Aladdin. We already get the one in two hours for Neverland. Because by the time we get to Neverland with how much stuff we have to do, it's already going to be two hours in game. <clears throat> so we just kind of like leave and then come right back immediately. Mega Lakes from Aladdin's house. Mega Ether on the way to the desert. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I forgot where this thing's located because I don't pick it up anymore. Okay. Let me save the game in case something goes horribly wrong. KH games are just very fascinating with the RNG in terms of what's manipulated, what is seemingly like you cannot manipulate, and then also in theory being able to try a suit over and over again until you actually hit something that is manipulable, or whatever the fucking word is for it. I would love to see a modern task of KH1, but uh, no one's really been working on that. I'll have to wait and see. Yo DLB, what's up dude? Thank you for the good luck and happy new year's to you as well. Making a lot of safety saves, but it's also a case of it only takes a few seconds to do that each time. <laughs> and uh, I'd rather take the extra few seconds to save than have to redo multiple minutes just because of something really silly happening. Oops. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> Now, I'll probably go down more and more as we get further into things, but it's never a bad idea to save if a save is, like, readily available to you. Yo, Miles, what up? Let's get this plaid. Here's the good RNG this time. Thank you so much. I hope so. <laughs> yes, you get Ultima Weapon. Getting every synthesis recipe uh, finished as part of the uh, trophy list. Um, put on EXP zero. Actually, wait, hold on. Um, unequip second ability on Aladdin or this. And then take Aladdin's ethers. And then save the game so I don't have to redo that menu every time if I die. And we just make sure that I have EXP zero on. Okay. Yo, Lightweaver, what's up? Happy New Year to you as well.
I think you're allowed to tap into equipment, but if you remotely change anything, it's over. So you just want to avoid it entirely if possible. Ooh, that parry though, nice. Okay, not too bad. I actually don't know. I haven't uh, taken it upon myself to see the exact moment or exact thing in the game that quantifies you uh, changing your equipment. It might be up to the point of if you leave the menu after changing stuff, then it takes effect, but I don't really know. Yo, Pip Ride Raider. Happy New Year to you as well. EXP zero scales your damage, that's why. Get out of my way! Uh, I don't like this. Okay, good. <laughs> the whole squad showed up to beat my ass, but thankfully I had uh, Thunder to bail me out. Thank God for that. <laughs> I didn't like that very much. I hope I get the speedrun trophy too. It's one of the harder ones. Yo, KZX. Torn page and save point. I may as well grab that cottage while I'm here too. Touch the save. I guess I'll save here in the off chance I somehow die <laughs> going from here to the treasure room, but uh, probably not gonna happen. Is it faster to grind a room full of launch rooms compared to the usual grinding spot in Traverse Town? No. Once battle level goes up and once you have other things that allow you to gain EXP more efficiently, you can effectively get 18,000 experience every, uh, what's it called? Two minutes? And it takes roughly 400 seconds or so to juggle rare truffles, which is more than two minutes, which is only a little bit more EXP, so it's not at a faster rate. Get all these, and I want to activate the Red Trinity, and then swap in Aladdin. Or Donald, and then do the stuff. Um, let's see, equip three ethers on Sora. And put this to Blizzard, 
and then save just in case things go bad. Okay, that should be fine. Hey, Hugsloth, what's up, dude? New year, new runs indeed. Hope we're doing well. How is my New Year's Eve? Very New Year's Eve-y. <laughs> Can't complain too much. Really? Oh, no, I'm bad. <laughs> I attacked too early, that was stupid. Oh, this might actually be okay, though, because I can kind of get him over here. And you'll do this like he has floor below him, so that's not that big of a deal. Okay, uh, that could have been better, but it could have been a lot worse, so we take that. If I had to miss the loop or the general strat, that's probably the best case scenario for a backup, so it's not that bad. Hey August, happy new year to you as well. Is it hot in here, or is it just me? Okay, not too bad. Uh, no deaths in Agrabah makes me a happy boy. Because the whole prospect of potentially facing a, uh, a death in a fight is going to go down considerably once we get to Halloween Town, because that's when we start our initial uh, power leveling. Really? Oh my god, I'm bad. <laughs> I can't get hit by the rocks, dude. What the fuck? Come on. Silliness. Man. <laughs> what a slow death abuse. Why am I not a mod? I don't know. Same reason people who aren't mods aren't mods. Because <laughs> I just haven't given it to someone. I want to fly to Atlantica <laughs> and get a trophy. Okay. Yo, Zero Cooler, what's up? Happy New Year to you, man. Hope you're doing well. Da 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 da. Bum 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 bum. It's really sketchy to look away during gummies in Proud. I wouldn't recommend it. 
<laughs> I'm trying to keep up with like any potential message I might be missing right now, but it's so sketchy. Head-on collision with most things in proud mode will just kill you instantly in, in a gummy row. It's kind of kind of sketchy. Yo, Andy, what's up? I mean, I can mod now because I'm not glued to my uh, my window on PC because I am playing on a console. <laughs> so if I have to, I can be a mod right now. Damn it. <laughs> no death, guys. Blueprint. Yo, Agecom, what's up, dude? Thank you very much for the good luck. I appreciate that. Happy New Year to you as well. <laughs> Yo, Dreed, what up? How you been doing? And good luck on runs, and welcome to the PS5 gang. Thank you, thank you. I am doing quite well, and thank you for the good luck. Hope you're having a good start to your 2022. Year of the Wiggle. Did Bubsy normalize gummy missions, or does he build a strong ship? I don't know. He plays, he did the run on beginner mode, so there probably is some space for mistake, but I know there are certain gummies you can just cheese by staying in a certain spot. But I'm not exactly sure everything behind that. Unequip EXP0 and save video game. Because <laughs> this next part is kind of rough. Try my best not to get owned by Hardless, but uh, no promises. Thank you, Donalds. Uh, use a camping stud here. Yeah, Death of All. Thank you so much for the gifted sub to Shock and Aubrey. And as for Shock and Aubrey, welcome back to the Miss Continent and enjoy the emotes you can use on Twitch for the next 30 days still. Thank you so much, Death of All. Very kind of you. Yeah, I'm fortunate I was able to get my PS5 when I did. I thought it was I was never gonna be a fucking owner of one, so I'm grateful to have one now. Yo, Agecon, thank you very much for the gifted sub as well to Vivid Wizard. And as for Vivid Wizard, welcome to the Miss Continent and enjoy the emotes you can use on Twitch for the next 30 days. Thank you so much, Agecon, very kind of you. Uh, uh, I don't like that. Hey, J. Polly, thank you very much. Happy New Year to you as well. Yo, Blitz, what's up? Happy New Year to you too. <laughs> Um, equip EXP0 and save video game because fight sucks <laughs> coming up here. Yo, Hyper, what's up, dude? Come on. 
Good luck, by the way, I'm good. <laughs> what about you? I am doing fantastic. I'm happy that you're doing well. Thank you for the good luck. Last frame of the ad is stuck on my screen, so Mist is now TurboTax. Damn, dude. Well, I mean, I am a streamer and I, like, I take people's money, so I mean... <laughs> appropriate, I guess. Okay, um, let's see. Equip high jump on shared. And I'm gonna try to do something dumb here and hope for the best. <laughs> wow. Yo, Mayo, thank you very much for the gifted sub to Hyper as well. And as for Hyper, welcome back to the Mist Continent and enjoy the emotes you can use on Twitch for the next 30 days still. Thank you so much, Mayo. And we got a hype train going too, Coolio. Rare truffles. <laughs> we'll see, I might not do this uh, too extensively if it takes a while, but we'll see. Just get an early start on EXP uh, leveling. I'll have to wait and find out. Okay, well. Uh, let's see how this goes. This might be bad. Because juggling them in this uh, area is really hard, but it's worth it if you can pull it off. He's going over there! Ah! <laughs> ah, no. Well, that's too bad. No! What do you mean? Ah, oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, the very last one as well? That's so dumb. Why would you do that to me? Yo, Death of All, thank you very much for the gifted sub to Luke North. And as for Luke, welcome to the Miss Continent and enjoy the emotes you can use on Twitch for the next 30 days. Very kind of you. Well, I got the EXP and that's all I really care about. It's really silliness that I couldn't get the gift from uh, doing that all the way, but what are you going to do? EXP is more important than the actual items though, so it's not really that much of a total failure, but it's just silly that it was that close and I couldn't get like the extra mega elixir in Mystery Goo. But oh well. Main thing I'm looking for is to get 4 MP before uh, Halloween Town to make stuff a little less annoying. How many Mystery Goos are needed? Uh, 10. But I'm gonna get like 8 of them from Halloween Town anyway, and I'm most certainly going to get the remainder from uh, Pink Agaricus when we do that later, so... Mystery Goos are not really a big issue in this category. Well, crits wouldn't matter because I my damage is scaled because I have EXP 0 on. <laughs> So finishers do the same damage regardless of crits.
It's the rare truffles in Halloween Town going badly that I'm more concerned about. Anything you can get from rare truffles in Monster is just a bonus, not a big deal. Uh, dock in Dark Chamber. You love these? Thank you. <laughs> Took a while to make them. I'm glad people enjoy them. Uh, this thing here too. And then the next thing I want to do is uh, put on the stuff I got from Monstro, the Haste 2 Gummy, and the Osmos G. Yo, Chris Bachelor, thank you very much for the five gifted subs, my dude. To Gambit, Unbound Beast, Leafy, Bepsi Man, and Death Unites Us, and as for the five of you, welcome to the Miscontinent, and enjoy the emotes you can use on Twitch for the next 30 days. Very kind of you. Thank you so much. That, and then I want a uh, Haste 2 Gummy, and then I want uh, Osmos G. There we go. And then I want to warp drive to Deep Jungle and do Wonderland Gummy Mission 1. Okay. <laughs> Rouse a little bit all over the place, but it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Hey, Lilac. Thank you very much. Happy New Year to you as well. Yeah, I have a lot of goals and ambitions for 2022, and we're getting started right now. Let's see how things go. Would be nice to start the year off with a plat PB, but if not, that's okay. I need 120 score, so I should be a little bit more, uh, what's it called? I should be gunning for, uh, <laughs> no pun intended. Like, more stuff before I get to actual, uh, Wonderland, otherwise I'm gonna have a problem there. I'm not actually gonna get, uh, Mission 1 accomplished. Dock here in Rabbit Hole, get the Green Trinity, then we're gonna go to, I think, what? Warp to Traverse Town, and then do Mission 2, haste five times without taking damage, and then go to Olympus, and then get the stuff that's there. Okay. <laughs> this part of the run's a little bit weird with all the stuff we're doing in a short span. Yo, Death Unites Us, what's up, dude? Two year sub badge, holy moly. Yo, Full Metal, good luck again. Gonna hop on the VR for a little bit. Have fun with that, dude. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in a little bit. He has entered the Lurky Lurk. Let's uh, slow down a little bit, and then boost again. That's four. And now this way I can guarantee I don't uh, run out, and I can boost when it's a clear path for the fifth one. Like so. Okay. That should be mission two. Good. Now we're going to go to Olympus, and we're going to get the uh, holy gummy that's here. <laughs> So much stuff here in a short time span, so I'm glad I have notes for this because I would not remember every single detail. Doing good, Happy New Year? Hey, same to you. Yeah, that's a good, uh, that's a good hope for 2022. Let's not have it be a fuck-up like, uh, last two years. That'd be nice. <laughs> Yo, Kibo-kun, thank you very much. Happy New Year to you, and thank you for the good luck as well.
Yo, Weehee, thank you so much for the 10 months as well. Holy moly. <laughs> Welcome back to the Mist Continent and enjoy the emotes you can use on Twitch for the next 30 days still. Thank you so much. This is on PS5. And now after that, I want to put on the Holy Gummy. Warp to Monstro. Oh my god. <laughs> so many notes here. Look at this giant fucking engine, dude. My goodness. Okay, that should be everything for now. Yo, Matt, what's up? Happy New Year to you as well. Yo, ass, what's up? Have a good stream, and hope you had a better New Year's Eve than mine. Oh, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Was dealing with that good old COVID. It's rough. New Year's Eve was good for me. Sorry yours was a little bit, uh, spoiled by COVID, but I hope you have a fast recovery, my dude. <laughs> Movement is uh is a thing. Yo, Chico, what up? Happy New Year to you as well. Blue Trinity, Water Gleam, and the Dalmatians that are located over here. Okay. Hey, Kingdom Hearts fan. I am doing very well. Thank you for asking, and Happy New Year to you as well. Hey, GG Vane, what up? You're looking pretty cute yourself. Nice, Death Guy's blueprint. That's an annoying one to get, like, potentially later in the game, and to have it now is fantastic. Thank you very much for the good luck as well. Kingdom Hearts fan, I appreciate that. Uh, Atlantica is in about an hour or so from now, give or take a bit. Hardest trophy would probably be, uh, well, I don't know. I feel like certain trophies aren't that bad inherently, but it's combining certain trophies into one thing that's pretty rough, to be honest. Um, unequip EXP zero, and let me save the game. And also, let me, uh, return to title screen. To potentially reset the, uh, rare truffle spawns, because they have proven to be very problematic in the past. So just a quick reset to reset the filter for that. Potentially, or, or at least try to. I don't really know. <laughs> Just don't forget the yellow trinity this time. We should be good. Hardest trophy time-wise would probably just be unchanged armor, coupled with, uh, what's it called? Undefeated. Coupled with, uh, <laughs> uh, proud mode. Pretty difficult segment of the run to do optimally. Okay. Uh, take the torn page. Take Jack's ethers. What else? Put three ethers on Sora. Actually, four ethers because I leveled up a bit. And let's also use the uh, items on him. And that's fine. And use your ethers as necessary. 
Yes, mushrooms are coming up. We're gonna be uh, going from like level like 15 or whatever the fuck we are right now, 16, 17 to like level 40. It's gonna be good. <laughs> hey, Lord, what's up, dude? Super hyped for the run. We'll probably watch during my whole night shift. Awesome, dude. I hope we're doing well. Happy New Year. Uh, that is correct. We beat the game normally. We have to sit through credits to unlock a certain amount of trophies, and then we do post-game with whatever equipment we wish to uh, use. Because once we have the trophy, we have no uh, handicap. How long did you practice KH1 FM until you reached your first world record? Uh, about two months, I would say. I started speedrunning it pretty much... Actually, less than that. I speed run, started speedrunning it when it came out in America in September of 2013. Got my first record in early November that same year. So honestly, only for like maybe six weeks. Kind of crazy to think about, actually. I've kind of made it a rule for myself that I'm not going to go for white mushrooms for five, five, unless uh, I have the proper spell accordance or I get them in a spot where I don't have a one in four chance and it's a one in three chance. It's really only worth going after white mushrooms in a specific world if you have the magic spell that they uh, abide by, and I don't have arrow for this, so doing white mushrooms there was kind of, uh... Yeah, kind of not necessary, but I will have to do white mushrooms later. Would you even have enough MP for Phantom? You probably would, because you'd have enough item slots and you'd have 8 MP. Like, minimum for Phantom. But I mean, it wouldn't really be ideal anyway. Yaba. Oh no, we lost him. <laughs> right, this is in Japanese. Hey, Jell, what's up, bud? Thank you very much for the good luck. I hope you've been well, dude. Nice to hear from you. And now I need Mr. and Mrs. and any other surnames or whatever title <laughs> uh, rare truffles to show up, please, because that would be uh, that'd be very nice. Hopefully they don't take 50 million years to show up. I could be here for a few minutes. Because <laughs> that definitely has happened on a, one of my runs where they just would not show up for, for the life of me. And it was, uh, it was pretty bad. Yo, Vex, what up, dude? Good luck on the run. Thank you so much. Happy New Year to you as well. I hope you've been well. To room it, you can't really do that without going all the way around, unfortunately. So that's kind of a last-ditch effort. Getting a little bit of bad luck here, but it's okay. Thank you. Okay, that wasn't as bad as it could have been. A little annoying, but it's fine. That was like 10 cycles, which is below average, but... Compared to what I've had in the past, that, that was, like, ridiculously quick, so...
So I need to do this about eight times to give myself enough EXP for the rest of the game. Because then once I'm at a certain level, I'll hit 8 MP before I get to final rest, which I really want to be able to do, uh... S like, to Simba every single wave, so... Just a lot of things we're doing now by leveling up this much. We're gaining about 40,000 EXP, if I juggle all 8 of them, uh, correctly. We're like in the teens for leveling, and by the time I'm done with this, I should be in the early 40s, which is uh, quite a big jump <laughs> for uh, mid game anyway. Too bad I couldn't get that last hit on the one in Monstro, that was unfortunate. Like I said though, not like a gigantic deal, just obnoxious. Ooh, I swung a little early on that one. <laughs> Careful. I'd like uh, you to break away. There we go, from the other one. Get over here, please. No, you don't get to be with your friends anymore. It's time to go home. <laughs> you have school tomorrow. Even though it's a Saturday, just trust me. <laughs> he doesn't want to go. I started that so early, dude. That was kind of aggressive. I was losing my patience. I sh probably shouldn't have done that. Because <laughs> juggling it all the way over here is kind of hard, but I'm, I'm just that good, obviously. And now that I say that, I'm going to drop this one because I'm an idiot. <laughs> but I'm just happy I didn't lose it on the way over here. I'm gonna try and juggle the other one on the other side, but it's a little trickier because it's very easy for it to uh, catch a ledge. With the way this corner is set up, you can't really. Uh... Oh no, it came over here. Never mind. <laughs> Thank you. That makes my life a little bit easier then. Ugh. <sighs> 
Now well, that was rather fortunate. I was able to juggle all four of them over on this side because they cooperated, so... Thank you for that. <laughs> Yo, Voka, thank you for the good luck. I really should not be looking at chat while I try to do this. <laughs> uh, anyway. Perfect, so uh, we're in good shape now. Uh, let's see, what can I do here? Uh, scan can come on now. Hurricane Blast would be good. MP Haste. MP Rage if I have it. I don't, that's fine. Uh, MP Haste on Donald's. Rage and Leaf Bracer. Cheer. Uh, Lucky Strike. MP Rage and MP Gift if he has it. No, okay. That's fine. Yo, Hubletran, thank you for the good luck. I appreciate that. Also, hi anyone who came in. Hi, Lady Luck. <laughs> While I was focused on uh, juggling rare truffles, I couldn't look at chat that much. I hope you're all doing well. Yo, Bum Tingle, thank you for the 50 monies. I appreciate that. It's for EXP and also Mega Elixirs, slash Elixirs, slash Mystery Goose. So I'm killing a few birds with a uh, single stone by doing it that way. That was a hard fight. Hey, Bum Tingle, thank you for the good luck as well. <laughs> Okay, and now I uh, return to title screen once again, after saving the game, to reset Rare Truffle Spawn. Yo, Explosion, thank you for the good luck. What's my favorite color? Blue. That's why my uh, best segment color is blue, because it's my favorite. I think blue is cool. Hopefully they don't take 50 million tries to show up, but uh, I'm willing to be patient. I get like the same RNG as last time. Okay, that was actually pretty quick, third try. I need to do one more full room of this, so if I juggle all four of these properly, I should be all set. But after this, uh, I'm done EXP farming for like seven hours. Six hours, give or take. Happy New Year, Dialga. I hope we're doing well. <laughs> Didn't like that very much.
That's something that can happen sometimes when it drops boxes at the 10, 50, in 50 increments, is uh, sometimes the box collides with its uh, model and makes it get pushed to the side to make space for the item, and uh, weird shit like that can happen sometimes. Not consistently, obviously. Like, it's the first time in 5 where it did that, but... Once in a while, you have to be ready to have to kind of adapt to whatever direction it's going whenever stuff like that happens, so... No, go that way, please. <laughs> Buddy, jump the other way. This is kind of bad. I don't like this positioning here. I need them to move out more. Go over this way, please. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> I was caught on the wall a little bit there. Starting it is always the hard part, once you get it into the corner, it's usually pretty easy from there, but initially setting it up and then having to adjust if the box has pushed the dude. Kind of annoying, everything else is fine. I double inputted my jump there, like by accident, and that kind of fucked up my uh, muscle memory a bit. <laughs> I've had good success with that one corner. Maybe I should try to bring you over to that too. He doesn't want to leave. <laughs> Fine. This corner's a little trickier. Oh. 
Cool, and that's it for EXP farming for now. Very good. Um, yeah, we're excellent with that. Um, MP Rage can go on Sora now. And I guess, eh, yeah, Leaf Racer as well. MP Haste, MP Rage, Leaf Racer on Donald is fine. Goofy can have MP Gift, and that's it. Okay. Now we just do uh, the rest of the run. Um, how much EXP is 100 hits? 50-50 uh, in total. You. you. Ooh. Ready to see our amazing damage. It's not that bad, I guess, but it's nothing that impressive, <laughs> unfortunately. Even with all those level ups, our equipment is still garbage. Eh, yeah, more EXP. <laughs> it's fine. It's like my copium way of saying I don't need that dice reflect. Not too bad. Relatively fast Oogie fight. Our boss is harder at level 1 with any equipment or at normal level with beginning equipment? Depends if you utilize EXP Zero's cheese or not, because a lot of fights are much easier at level 1 with good equipment than regular at, with crappy equipment. Also, the XP Zero scales you to a point where you're dealing more damage than even beginner mode with uh, base equipment late game. My goodness, dude, that Ogi Manor was, like, actually quite fast. 
Got a lot of tech points as well. That was good. A lot of fire parries. Pretty much, uh, aside from one uh, dice reflect I didn't get, pretty much everything in that Halloween town was good. Maybe uh, rare truffle spawns were a little bit slow, but nothing bad. No dig beal. How many times do you have to play through the game for plant? Once. I'm doing everything on proud mode. And then I'm doing post game with whatever equipment I want. What goes through your mind when you speedrun? I run through a scenario that I've done in practice and just tell myself to do the things when I see certain uh, instances pop up in battles, like certain patterns, and just tell myself just do this at this moment and just re repeat that to myself. I mean, a good bit of it is autopiloting, but when I really do need to focus, I just tell myself I know what I'm doing, and if I see a particular thing pop up, just play accordingly. Also, cool RNG. <laughs> well, it goes beyond just play the game fast. It's like, okay, Ansem 2 started with a blue shockwave, so dodge roll through it, wait a second, and then do a normal, like, air hit to stun him and then start the fight like normal. Sometimes he'll uh, get right up in my face and charge me, and I'll be like, okay, guard, and then do the fight like normal. Sometimes he'll run right up to you and try to swing. I'm like, okay, jump, do a delayed finisher so you parry off the swing, and then do another combo to start the fight. Stuff like that. Is what I just tell myself every time I get to certain instances in KH1 to do the fights correctly, and other parts correctly. There is no critical mode on KH1. Proud is basically what critical mode is for later games. <laughs> you don't say. Touch the save point. Ah, oh, come on. Yes, uh, Plaid does everything on crit for KH2 as well. If there is a difficulty trophy requirement, it's done on that difficulty for the Plaid runs. What is it, Tink? Generally speaking, there might be a slight uh, differentiation there with BBS. But probably not. <laughs> hey, Waldens, thank you for the good luck. I don't have uh, Glide yet, oops. Fuck, hello? <laughs> uh, Antisora, that's not allowed, good sir. What are you doing?
No fast fade, it's okay. Fire strats because my damage output is complete ass compared to my magic damage. So when I can, I want to do that. Um, air combo plus on Sora. Second wind on Donald. What else? Uh, top two abilities on Peter Pan come off. Um, stop over triangle. Goofy goes to that. Uh, Peter goes to this. Yes, okay. Fire! Fight was fine. Switch you for you. Okay. And uh, because we have enough MP, now I can do this. <laughs> Make life a lot less annoying. Pistol P, thank you very much for the 384 bits. I appreciate that, bud. Hope we're doing well. Fire! Okay, that was a hard fight. Might try for one of those last two slots. You never know, man. It's possible. Dropped a couple of my air combos, but it's hard to do that consistently for like 30 plus seconds straight, so it wasn't that bad. Oh, right, you gambled and lost all your points. I remember now. I'm sorry that happened. Yo, Squiddy, what's up? It's okay. Still got plenty of run left. I hope we're doing well. Redock of the clock tower for the in-game time power-up. You hit 69-420 today. Nice. You can make me dab with that. But you're not going to. Why do I, why do I touch my hat a lot? Because uh, sometimes he gets angry with me. <laughs> and I have to calm it down. Um, power up. Unequip air combo plus and treasure magnet. Put on ours arcanum and guard. Um, equip glide and customize this to gravity. Grab uh, Dumbo first, and then do the stuff on the way to Oppo. 
I was gonna say, Pistol Pete. <laughs> I, you can't. What what isn't there cannot escape. So. Dude, what the fuck? My chair moved to my chin. <laughs> Little baby chair. <laughs> Just situated right below my fucking jawline. Um, talk to this dude. Grab the postcard. Grab these chests right here. And that's it for now. This is chest hair. <laughs> my chest hair moved to my chin. No. Some weird, uh... Fictitious situation we're cooking up here. Hey, Plaisley. Happy New Year for you as well. No, I didn't see it, actually. <laughs> Thank you for repeating it, because I would have uh, completely forgot. And or Well, you can't forget what you don't know. But I wouldn't have seen it either way, so thank you for that. You joy. Get over here. Hey, Dodge, what up? Thank you very much. Do you find Plat stressful at all? Only until I beat Cycle 1, and then the rest of it is just, uh... Why am I, what am I doing? <laughs> rest of it is just, uh... Have the endurance to finish it. But I'm stressed about dying in pretty much every spot in Cycle 1, because that's a big time loss, or just like a lot more of the run I have to do over usually. But once I defeat Ansem 4 with the unchanged armor stuff completed, it's a lot less annoying. Eh? What do you mean? Get Hit the hand, you idiot. <laughs> what is going on? No, everything's done on proud mode. We go from like level 10 to like level 40 in Halloween Town by uh, what's it called? Using rare truffles to farm. And that makes uh, other, like the actual proud part of it not that bad for unchanged armor afterwards. It's still annoying in a number of ways, but it goes from being completely trash to, like, tolerable after the first, like, hour or so of the run. Oops, I killed Pinocchio. I think that's everything. Should be good. I just run through my uh, notes right quick every time I do a segment just to make sure I'm not forgetting something kind of like super duper important. I think my magic is as strong as Donald's now. 
Why don't you go visit Merlin? <laughs> I will in like six hours or seven hours from now. Oh my god, you go so fast in this gummy. Okay. <laughs> I'm not used to this. It's like spooky as shit, dude. What the hell? Hey, I get to do the thingy now. I haven't done this for a little bit. You guys know you can freeze the bubbles. Yo, anxious! Thank you so much for the gifted sub. Oh man, to uh, Melissa Jane and uh, Melissa Jane four one seven S for Melissa. Welcome to the Miss Continent and enjoy the emotes you can use on Twitch for the next thirty days. <laughs> Thank you so much, anxious. Very kind of you. Da, da, da. Grab that, please? No? Okay. <laughs> I did jump kind of early, so I was like, uh oh. <laughs> this might not work. Did you know that you need to get on the Hydra's back? No, you don't. Lies. <laughs> Yo, P, thank you very much for getting the sub as well to Lord Vorath. And as for Lord, welcome to the Miss Continent and enjoy the emotes you can use on Twitch for the next 30 days still. Thank you so much, Pete. See ya. Oh my goodness, P with another one, dude. What the heck? <laughs> thank you for another gift sub to RJ Cross. And as for RJ Cross, welcome to the Miss Continent and enjoy the emotes you can use on Twitch for the next 30 days. Thank you so much, Pete. Can you imagine how popular a Kingdom Hearts 2 would be? Yeah, I, I think a Kingdom Hearts 2 would be pretty popular. Sounds like it would be like 19th game most popular or sold in Japan or something. Hey, Big Daddy, what up? How's it going? Not too shabby, my dude. I hope you're doing well. Happy New Year. Yo, Bebsy with the strats though? I might have to uh I might have to follow suit on this. <laughs> you guys think H1 Proud is harder than Cage 2 crit? Um, I don't think so, but that's mostly because I've played Cage 1 so much. But I think 2 is higher expectations of the player. Whereas KH1 feels like more artificially difficult in a few ways. Not to say that KH1 doesn't have any inherent difficulty with expecting the player not to be bad, but I feel like KH2 is more balanced and just generally more refined, so less a nonsense situations pop up compared to KH1. But I guess my real response to this is whatever game you're less familiar with is harder, generally speaking. But I find Crit in 2 to be harder because I played Cage 1 Proud so many times, it's not even a big deal for me anymore.
KH3 crit, I think, is fine. KH3 level 1 crit, uh... <laughs> it's, it's okay. <laughs> I guess, but, uh, anyway. You need to give me a controversial answer so you can clip it and ship it, and then my channel can dip it. <laughs> I guess. Maybe. Get, like, the fucking Oreo strats. This fight's so stupid. I hate Riku one so much. My Keyblade's not long enough, dude. I can't parry him consistently with my Hurricane Blast. Bullshit. Okay. Hey, Happy New Year as well, Masked Firebird. Hope you're doing well. And thank you very much for the good luck. I hope you're having a fantastic start to your year. My year has been good so far. Hard for it to be bad after one day, but... It is possible, so... Hey Bubba, waking up at 2pm feels kinda weird. <laughs> I said the same thing when I woke up at, uh, not degenerate hours recently. I hope we're doing well. Not a bad start, here's hoping it gets better, yeah? Pretty much in the same boat. <clears throat> You know, it's funny because up until a few days ago, I would say the exact same thing, Bubba. <laughs> but now I actually, like, sleep at normal person time. It's weird. Nice stream at normal person time, which is also weird. What's my- what's y'all's resolutions and shiz? Just generally, uh, being happy with myself in life. I have a couple, uh, resolutions I have written down for myself, but I'm not being very public about. Just because uh, it's more important to me, like myself only, that I get certain things done, but... There's obviously general stuff. I'm looking forward to, like, expanding more as a content creator this year, you know. Actually really getting into the thick of things with, uh, streaming and actually really take it as far as I can. Just keep building it up further and further, so we'll see how that goes. Also, yo, fair, what's up? Fire. Do I grab the AP up here? Yes, I do. Okay. AP boost! Or is it? No, it's AP up. <laughs> what? My notes say AP boost? That's wrong. Fake KH1 fan. Yo, P, thank you very much for another gifted sub to Miles J with A. 
Master Miles, welcome back to the Mist Continent and enjoy the emotes you can use on Twitch for the next 30 days. Fire. Thank you very much, Pete. Ah, no, my Tony Hawk or Sean Palmer snowboarding video game trick. What happened? <laughs> this runs invalid now. Why? It was mine! Where? <laughs> what happened? Hey, check it. Here comes the defender drop right now. Let's do it. Damn it. <laughs> so close. And get the Dalmatians here before elevator fight. <clears throat> Understood. <laughs> I, I almost just walked off the edge of that platform there and it was a little bit not great. No haste two gummy? No, I already have a haste two gummy. I already have the fastest possible ship you can have, so there's no point in grabbing it. I get the haste two gummy at Agrabah during the revisit, because there's also a set of Dalmatians I need to pick up there. Yeah, there's one in Agrabah, uh, behind the secret room. You know that uh, room you destroy the pole, or like the pillar thing, to open up a uh, treasure room to fight your fire? If you open up the door that's uh, locked away there, there's a uh, haste 2G behind it as one of the two chests. Fuck. Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> oh, no. oh, what a disaster. Just picked up my free copy of RE7. Hey, let's go. <laughs> RE7 is uh, pretty cool. Game kind of tapers off a bit towards the end, but still pretty good. How's the run going? Well, I haven't died anywhere, so not bad. If I die anywhere before uh, cycle one is over, then the run's not very good because I lose in-game time, having to reload a save. But that hasn't happened yet. Hopefully it stays that way. Yeah, I would definitely recommend playing seven before village. They do give a brief recap over things, but uh, it's also a good basis to kind of learn because the game plays pretty similarly to uh, RE7, RE8 does, it's the same engine and stuff. There's definitely new mechanics, and it doesn't play exactly the same, but it's the general same interface and whatnot, so... 
Actually, that's not even true either. <laughs> uh, just, it, it plays pretty similarly. Yeah, I'm very much of the opinion that 7 and 8 are better in different ways and worse in different ways than the other game, but they're both still very solid games in their own ways. I feel like 7 is better in terms of general environments and exploration, whereas 8 is better in terms of gameplay. Uh, Cottage and AP up on Sora. Hurricane Blast comes off. EXP Zero goes on, so take that off, take that off. Um, equip Treasure Magnet. Equi unequip Beast Top Ability for Critical Plus. Stock Beast Ethers. Customize Stop on Triangle. And uh, let's have some fun. Time for my favorite thing ever, dude. Here we go. Ah, shit. <laughs> Why does this category only have three runs? Because it is very hard. <laughs> I would arguably say this is one of the most difficult cage categories you could probably even attempt with how annoying it is. It's it's nine to ten hour run and it's extremely demanding of the player to succeed at a lot of things that you need to do to do the run optimally. It's amazing that a, a certain amount of people have finished a run. There's only a handful of crit runs for every game, and some Recom doesn't even have one, and BBS only has like one plat run as well, so I mean, <laughs> really lengthy plus really difficult isn't a good combination for most people. That's a common glitch in KH1. Unequip EXP 0, and Warp Drive, okay. We're going to do Atlantica now. A lot of enemies have 1 HP left when- or, or at least on Dragomel I know it's pretty common, I, but I'm certain that I've seen it happen on a few boss fights. Yo, Jenga, what's up? Happy New Year to you as well, good sir, and thank you very much for the good luck, I hope you're doing well. This music slaps. Happy New Year, Mick. What's up, dude? Are you pro in all cage games? Not every single one of them. I like to say I'm pretty good at KH1. <laughs> With my, like, eight records. Uh, I'm good at KH1, I'm decent at two, and I'm okay at three, although I'm still trying to learn to get good at three. 
I plan to run uh, Data Oregon 3 pretty soon. But uh, BBS, not really so good. Uh, Com, not the greatest. And 3D, we don't talk about. <laughs> That's not uh, what I wanted to do. It's okay. I made that mistake last time I did this category as well. I'm not a god of days. I haven't even finished that game. <laughs> uh, maybe someday. That being said, the speedrun of days looks pretty cool. If I ever finish it, I'd probably, uh, <laughs> it'd probably be on the back of speedrunning it. I'm a Ven crit god? Not anymore. I was good at, like, one story and pretty bad at the other two, so, I mean... That's like saying if you're really good at beginner mode. Well, actually... Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. That's like saying if you're good at, like, beginner mode specifically, but you're not really that well-faceted with, uh, multifaceted with standard proud and other things in KH1. I don't know if you can necessarily say you're, like, a god at the game. I would just say you're really good at, uh, beginner mode, not necessarily the entirety of KH1. So, like, I wouldn't say just because I'm really good at Ven Crit, I'm really good at VBS. I mean, beginner is the most competitive, so I mean, if you're good at it, you're generally considered really good at KH1. But uh, as someone who's done all the other categories, I'm a, my mindset's a little bit different on that. It's not meant to be an offense in any way, it's just uh, being more specific. I feel like if you're really good at beginner in KH1, there's also certain things you're not as well familiar with and or know how to execute otherwise. Just because beginner mode does handle things a little bit differently, it's a more of a specialist kind of scenario and plays very different to most other instances of KH1. Just my opinion, though. It's, a diff it's different when you do multiple applications of the same speed game, though. Just your normal, uh, Atlantica worlds. Yeah, that's pretty much the only real usage of Out of Bounds that's useful for speedrunning. There might be a few more Out of Bounds in KH1 that I can't quite think of off the top of my head. But that's pretty much the only really useful glitch in KH1, and it's only for the extensive categories. We never, uh... We never come to Atlantica in any percent. So it's not very well known. Because most people don't run anything outside of any percent. There's also an out of bounds in KH3 to get the uh, mech for the Angelic Amber fight. <clears throat> Which is a godsend for level 1 crit. <laughs> um, I need to get the things in here. Oops, I almost forgot about that. Hey look, it's a chest. Oh my god, what the fuck? Happy New Year, <laughs> says the shark. What's Angelic Amber? It's uh, that one toy boss in, uh, what's it called? In Toy Box.
Yeah, it's that one boss fight in KH3 where there's like 50 million enemies, except that's like, that's most fights in KH3. I love 3, by the way, but I mean, it's a little bit ridiculous at times, with <laughs> stuff like that. Are you kidding me? Dude. Dude, actually? Like, actually. Okay. <laughs> Was that so difficult? Apparently. Uh, Yidamoto's doing KH3 stuff. But outside of that, I don't know if many other people are running KH3 currently. <laughs> oh, good one, Ursula. So funny. Um, Donald for Ariel. D-Boy Cubed, thank you. Um, yes, a lot of people feel the exact same way. H3's pacing is pretty garbage in terms of events. It's just Disney Worlds and then actual important stuff in the last, like, six hours. I got bad shark in G. Equip second, third, and fourth abilities and use a cottage. Oops. Oh no, I tabbed into my equipment tab. <gasps> Missed. You fucked up. <laughs> I don't think that actually matters. I hope. I didn't touch anything. It's fine. <laughs> it is in English. Because uh, synthesis in Japanese is not very fun, and I'd rather not do that. Hey, Scrax, thank you for the good luck, I appreciate that. Hope we're doing well, Happy New Year. I mean, I've done plot runs in Japanese before. And I can do it, but it's just I'm pretty sure I lose time by the later part of the game. <laughs> Because I'm trying to figure out what my synthesis equips are. Equips, yeah, obviously. My synthesis items are, and I'm just, like, sitting around not knowing what the fuck I'm doing. Stop laughing at me. Hey, Grunch Dogs, Happy New Year. Hope we're doing well. Same to you. EXP Zero. Um, and Mermaid Kick. And then just before, hold, before we fight Ursula 2, we're gonna go back in here. <laughs> and, uh, get this little item here. Because, uh, it's a myth roll. Need that for synthesis later? Okay. And now it's time for some good old-fashioned RNG. Probably gonna take five years for white mushrooms to show up here, and I need them to show up because they're the only ones that can use the stop magic. Yo, Dash, what's up? I hope we're doing well. Oh wow, second try. That was actually kind of quick. Also, hello, Wayward, what's up? Come on. Stop for me! Thank you. Stop. 
Just vibing to the music, dude. Can you, like, stop, please? <laughs> Can you unironically stop? Oh my god, this fucking guy. <laughs> You've gotta be joking, dude. How unlucky does a motherfucker have to get? Just, just one more fucking time, dude. Thank you. <laughs> what is so difficult about this? Ugh. Annoying. Thank you. You gave me, like, two immediately, and then you took, like, five years for the <laughs> last one. Ugh, that's so stupid. Um, Cottage right before Ursula 2. And Mega Elixir on standby. Okay. I was a little bit too dodge, but uh, I was thinking to myself, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> it's fine. My party seems to be stuck. Okay, that's better now. I had to let her on stop so my party could actually do shit to her. No, uh, I don't have Tornado on, because I want him to prioritize throwing the MP, but, uh, Ariel's, uh, first ability, which is, like, the spiral wave, is ridiculously good. <laughs> That's why I wanted her to get out of, uh, being stuck wherever she was, because, uh, the damage that she supplements is really good for that fight. Finished my shitty retail job last night, so in two weeks I start my much better job. Hey, and it might be your dream job too. I'm happy for you. 2022 already looking pretty neato. That's cool. And now I'll give people a moment to say goodbye because we will never come back to Atlantica. This is the only world in the entire game we don't visit a second time, unfortunately. Goodbye. Never to return. Good riddance, dude. What? K20 Atlantica is actually fun in the speedrun. What are you talking about? <laughs> you hate the music, bro? <laughs> the battle theme slaps. What are you talking about? Although the normal theme gets grating after a while, I will I will admit that. Battle music in Atlantica is sick, though. The only real uh, RNG in Atlantica is the shark spawn on the way back. When you're trying to get to uh, Ursula for the first time. P, thank you very much for the get the sub to Dash. <laughs> That's awesome. And as for Dash, welcome back to the Mist Continent and enjoy the emotes you can use on Twitch for the next 30 days still. Thank you very much, Pete. Very kind of you. EXP zero. Well, actually, let's just activate this White Trinity. <laughs> well, menu in a minute. EXP zero comes off. Customize Blizzard to circle slash X. There we go. Um, thunder to triangle. 
And that's it. And I guess we'll save, because it's been a little bit. Why not? How do you lock the reticle? Uh, hold R1 while you're firing. And uh, it, it maintains that positioning, no matter where you move the gummy ship. Here. Items and abilities are fine, you're just not allowed to change your equipment for the entirety of the first cycle. First cycle is when I defeat uh, Ansem 4, and I have to sit through credits. Thunder. Because then, after I'm finished with the credits, I can reload a save. And then do post game with whatever equipment I want because unchanged armor is fully completed after that point. Yo, Shinji, what's up? Happy New Year to you as well. Thank you very much, and thank you for the good luck. Happy New Year to you too, Chuba. Nothing to it. Hey, Fabrice, what's up? Hope we're doing well. Happy New Year to you too. No, uh, equipment is off limits, no matter what. Doesn't matter if it's Sora, Donald, Goofy, or a world party member, uh, that does not get changed whatsoever. <clears throat> Stop. Nice. Man. Oops. <laughs> Not used to having a uh, guard this early. I say after I've been playing for three hours, but uh... Only time I've been here... Really is like for level 1 types of speedruns, and you don't get guard in level 1 runs, so my kind of mind kind of blanked there. Yo Axo, what's up dude? Happy New Year to you too, man. Here. Yeah, sounds like a plan fair. Uh, I imagine a lot of people have had a lot of stuff they've had to do <laughs> on the back of last night, so have fun with that. Thank you for the good luck, Axel. I'll be lurking and trying to figure out a programming thing. Sounds good. Hopefully you sort it out. Well, we have to wait for four hours because of, uh, 
the power up at the clock tower, which spawns at four hours in game time. And we may as well get as much stuff done as possible before then, and just so happens if you move quickly, you can pretty much do everything. Thunder. But yeah, uh, we would want to complete... There are like certain things that are like, they're nice if you can get them done before four hours, then there's stuff where it's like, you really need to be done with it before you beat Riku, and this would be one of them, yes, Andy? You're not wrong about that. Thunder. Pretty much anything that's strictly combat oriented that can be done before the battle level increase, you you want to make sure it's done with. And then like just do as much cleanup slash uh, extra stuff as you can afterwards. This motherfucker stole my MP. Power up is more so that, uh, what's it called? End of the world is in complete disaster. Because I can't use any of my equipment until after I beat the game. And, uh, power ups will make a difference for stuff like super bosses and, uh, just general fights at the end. Invisibles are really annoying and I don't want them to be any worse than they have to be. The cops are actually not that bad, surprisingly. The only one that's really awful is we have to do Hades Cup three times, but the other three are relatively quick. Because they're only like nine rounds, so. Like, literally 10% uh, plus of this run is just Hades Cup, and it's annoying. <laughs> Probably more like 15 to 20. Here. That's the power of the Keyblade. Hey, Darkspark, how's the pot run been? Uh, not too bad. No major mistakes so far. Uh, hopefully we can carry that through to the end of Cycle 1. Hey, Zero Cooler, just got it, takes two, nice. Run is going pretty well, thank you for asking. Well, so far, but, uh... <laughs> even if a uh, game doesn't treat me very well towards the later parts of it, it'll still be fine. The most, uh, what's it called, scary part for me is just getting past Cycle 1 without any major mishaps, and if I can, if I can do that, I'm fine for the rest of the run. I just hope that RNG, uh... doesn't, uh, hurt me too badly as well. But I won't know until I get there. Probably shouldn't have done that, to be honest. Would have been better if I just used blizzards. It's fine. Nothing to it. Happy New Year, a new one. Please. 
this dude. <laughs> kind of a sloppy fight so far. It's okay. Fucking Goofy, stop pushing a dude away from me, please. I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Annoying. If I have any extra ethers, I may want to put those on. Just for the remainder of the Pegasus Cups I have to do. Let me check that. Um, yes, put those on. That should be fine. Okay. Yeah, uh, I need every dark matter I can get my hands on, so we're doing this. <laughs> Here. Yes, we do, uh, jungle slider for the, uh, dark matter as well. We don't grab the stat ups, though, because they're not necessary after that. Time investment for them is too much. I need dark matters for synthesis. There's a handful of recipes that require a considerable amount of them, and I need to synthesize one of each of the 33 recipes in KH1 to get a platinum trophy. <laughs> There is no chest tracker in Kingdom Hearts 1, so I do not need to open every chest. I do need to open 100 chests, though. Which is a trophy. Arbitrary. We synthesize three Dark Matters in this run. We get all 11 of them that are in the game, and then we synthesize the other three we need, so it's, uh, pretty intense. Yo, Majoris, what's up? Thank you for the good luck, I appreciate that. This wave so much. See ya. Deep freeze. Deep freeze. That's the power of the keyblade. Wind. Please get over here, dude. I hate Leon so much. <laughs> Stop beating up best girl, but it's faster.
I haven't gotten Lady Luck yet. I haven't revisited Wonderland with White Trinity currently. I'll be doing that very soon. <laughs> Gravity break any good? Uh, no, unfortunately. Thunder. See ya. Deep free. Deep free. What? What? Sora said, sniff screen to say hello. Hello. I hope you're doing- I hope you're having a good new year, <laughs> Sora. Yes, you need all upgraded spells for plot. You also need all of the magic arts from the white mushrooms for plot. Because we get a uh, shield for Goofy by having all of the, what's it called? Magic arts collected. They also drop a mystery mold, which is a very unique item in the game. Sells for a shit ton of money. And now I need EXP zero. Unequip all abilities from party. Actually, uh, that doesn't really matter. Okay. MP gift can stay on. Um, what else? Take out two elixirs. Uh, fire and blizzard, respectively. Starting selections for the run, uh, chose staff, drop shield, knight experience routes, because knight experience route give, makes it so it takes the least amount of EXP needed to reach level 100, which is the, uh, tro which is a trophy, is max level.
How many gold trophies are there? Uh, like two or three. I actually don't know off the top of my head, to be honest. <laughs> There's Speedster and there's Proud Player. I can't remember if there's another gold trophy for something else. Or like if there's another achievement that's also gold, but I know those are the two gold ones off the top of my head. I have to wait for in-game time of uh, four hours to get a power-up, so there's no point in having a split prior to that. That's the power of the keyblade. Because I have to wait a certain amount of time in-game anyway, so what's the point if you you can't actually be ahead in real time? <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Please, dude. I know, Matt. I haven't streamed since last year. Crazy. Thank you for the good luck. I hope you're doing well. It's been a while. We don't have to do Hercules time trial, just the uh, time trial for Pegasus and time trial for um, Hades because of the rewards they give. There's nothing beneficial for uh, Solo and uh, time trial uh, Hercules. Not gonna have enough MP to do this. It's okay. Come on. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, come on. I, maybe I should have just attacked him inherently, and that was stupid of me. And now I do not seal the keyhole here, because by not sealing every single keyhole before I finish the game, I skip the deep dive cutscene that normally plays at the end of proud mode, so uh, since I have to sit through credits, that's actually a time waster. 
So I'll come back after I beat the game and seal the keyhole later. It's actually one of the cooler uh, techs of Plat not to seal the keyhole earlier. We'll still get the trophy when we seal the keyhole after credits though, which is really nice. There's different conditions for viewing the secret ending in KH1, depending on the difficulty, and the difficult or what's it called, um, unequip EXP0, hold on. Um, equip on Donald, MP Rage, no, Leap Racer, MP Rage, and MP Haste, okay, well I was right the first time. Um, cheer I guess can go on too. Uh, second chance on Goofy. And, uh, other stuff as well. Fire to X, I already did that, and then this can be gravity. Why do you do EXP zero for certain things? So I'm not doing complete chip damage and or dying in no hits, and it's also faster. No, you have to beat the game once. We do everything on proud mode. Uh, specific movement here to avoid spawns. Uh, it's a situational basis. If the fight isn't really much faster with EXP zero off, then we take the EXP. But if the fight is complete ass, otherwise, yes, EXP is utilized. EXP zero is utilized for its capabilities. A lot of end game fights will utilize it. Yo, nice RNG. Should I try for a mushroom here? I'm on the fence. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> well, maybe not after that. <clears throat> ah, fuck it. Won't bother with it. Ah, uh, this way. Yo, Echi Boy, how's the run going? Uh, not too bad. <clears throat> so far, so good. No major mistakes. We're on track for a lot of things. Feeling okay. Hey, Bradry, thank you very much. I appreciate that. I hope we're doing well. Thunder again, please. That'd be nice. Thunder. And if I'm lucky, I can sneak around and get the blizzard one from the other dude, if this guy hurries up. Come on. Ah, uh, please, dude. <laughs> Probably not at this rate. I mean, two out of three isn't bad, but obviously three out of three is better. I'll be surprised if I get this, because the timer's running out. 
Oh my god, I got so lucky. Fantastic. <laughs> That's the best case scenario. Fantastic. Fire, Blizzard, and Thunder Arts from the same room. Very good. That's pretty much the ideal situation, so excellent. It's about time I get some good RNG in a run, dude. <laughs> So that's four out of the- like, see, now in hindsight, I'm very glad I didn't spend time doing White Mushrooms in Agrabah. It was the very best case scenario that could have happened there, so, excellent. Oh, come on, dude. Thunder. Fire. Thunder. Uh, hello, Leah. Happy New Year to you as well. Hope we're doing well. Thunder. Yeah, I uh, had a sub goal uh, that was met in November that I owed two plat runs, and this is the second of the two that I owe. So I said, screw it, man. I'll start the year off with another plat run. Uh, then I grabbed the stuff here. And then I want to get the dark matter. Ah, fuck. Nice, okay. <laughs> it's a lot easier if you can get around that way than doing the normal table jump, so I'm glad I recovered that fine. Happy New Year's, big pony polo. Hope we're doing well. That's five out of seven, actually. I just need, uh, what's it called? I need the arrow from Halloween Town, I need the cure from Deep Jungle, so we'll see how that goes. I forgot about the stop when I got in uh, Atlantica. <laughs> hey Josh, what up? Happy New Year to you as well. I am doing very well. Good start to the year so far and I hope it's the same for you. Everyone's most disliked world? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that thing. Uh, everyone's most disliked world? Uh, we're going to it momentarily. Starts with, uh, number one. What was the other thing achieved? Um, I owe an unchanged armor playthrough of level one, eventually. Which I'll get around to at some point. What's up? Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Same to you. There's a few people that have done it. I know Ace Lord has. I know a Japanese player has. I'll eventually do it. <laughs> but uh, not very many people have because it's an awful idea.
What's unchanged armor? Uh, you do not mess with your equipment tab the entire time you play the game. It's off limits. You can do anything else, but you're not allowed to change any equipment on the party. Um, the unchanged armor thing is universe- not universal, it's, uh, strictly adhered to that one playthrough that you were doing. So if you do change equipment, you have to start a, br a brand new, uh, profile, or at least the most recent save that has no equipment changed. You're not allowed to change your equipment for, uh, plat, that is correct. Can I still get plaid if I go beginner when I'm done with my proud? Uh, yeah. Just do unchanged armor on beginner mode and you'll be fine. There's no issue with that. It's actually recommended you do it on beginner mode because you start with an EXP accessory and a ribbon accessory. And, uh, initial equipment is just means just don't touch it. So beginner would be a lot easier than the other two to try it. <laughs> Stat boosts help out quite considerably, too. Yeah. <laughs> it's the big thing, too. Like, just, just your equipment tab is off limits. That's the only thing. You can do anything else in the game to help you. And there's quite a lot of options in KH1. Uh, no, because the bare minimum amount of MP Sora can have with unchanged armor is two. And there are no spells in KH1 that cost more than two MP. Oh shit. <laughs> it's staff minus shield on beginner, that is correct. Plus staff minus shield. It's also crazy no one knew that if you do an overhead swing on the bees, you get 10 points. Guaranteed. <laughs> A lot of weird shit with this game being found in recent history. <laughs> Yes, I'm going for cheer. You need Sora's cheer in this category because we can only have 8 MP with unchanged armor with a reasonable attainable level. Yo, Violin. Thank you so much for the raid, my dude. Hope Strim Stram was good fam and all that. Thank you very much. Hello, fellow Shade, Brig Shade Brigade... Yeah, English. <laughs> Shade Brigade Raiders. There we go. Hope you're all doing very well and hope you're having a fantastic start to your new year. I should get bonk so I win points? Maybe. Hey Ruby, what's up? My day is going very well. Hopefully yours is too. Requirement for cheer 100 acre, 100 points in the first minigame, 150 points for the second minigame, 40 plus uh, yards in the third minigame, under 30 seconds for the fourth minigame, and under 5 minutes for the fifth minigame. 
And then you go back into the world, go to Pooh's house, talk to Owl, and he'll give you the cheer ability. It's called Summon MP Up in Japanese. It's like a literal uh, definition of what the ability does, but it's just localized to cheer in English for whatever reason. <laughs> Yo, Captain Ash, what's up, dude? Happy New Year to you as well. I hope you're doing well. Why do I let Pooh fall down? Because once I hit 100 points, it doesn't matter how well I do in the minigame. I have to wait out the full three minutes for it to end, and uh, I, have, I can either let him fall or do the minigame. Like, it doesn't really matter at that point. When can I take a bigger break? In about an hour from now, give or take, because uh, I have to sit through credits, which takes about 15 minutes, because uh, five of the trophies don't unlock until you've uh, seen the credits to the, to the end, which is kind of annoying. Cheer makes it so that uh, summons last longer, which is necessary for Simba to work properly in Final Rest for this category. Still deathless? Yep. I haven't had to reload any saves yet, and hopefully you can stay that way for the remainder of uh, Unchanged Armor. Are you excited for Bambi? If Bambi's nice to me. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll just view Bambi as an acquaintance and nothing special. I don't know, it's just a bunch of pixels anyway. Although, pixels hasn't stopped people from, uh, well. Anyway, this took a bad turn. I'll appreciate Bambi if Bambi appreciates me, <laughs> is what I'm getting at here. Boing. Bigger go, bounce. Um, it's sketchy to skip on PS3. I've had no issues with it on PS4, so I think the faster load times don't, uh, don't make it any, like, any much of a worry. But uh, on PS3, it was sketchy to skip that cutscene, like, immediately. Would you ever try a Cage 3 Rando? I'll probably look more into it when it's out of beta, but the initial release doesn't interest me very much. I do plan to play Cage 3 later this month, or if not, very soon because I want to run data.org and I've been making a file for that and uh, practicing stuff in the meantime. If you skip the cutscene quickly on PS3, the game can sometimes softlock and just never load the next instance. What's KH3 Rando? Um, basically, I don't know if you've heard of the other randomizer or the term randomizer in a bunch of other communities. But essentially it uh, takes like abilities, item locations, and various other things and puts them at different uh, rewards like than they normally are. And makes it so that you have to kind of use whatever resource you have to get through certain points and then just kind of route on the fly and eventually have uh, yourself a goal met where you have access to beat the game. And for KH3 it's finding uh, three proofs. And once you find the three proofs, if you're well equipped enough, you can go finish the game. Oh. 
When do I think I'll start Strikers? I want to see if I can hit my goal time for Proud Mode this month. And if not, I'll start it sometime in February. Like, I'm gonna dedicate pretty much all of January to try to getting a 204 in Proud Mode. Or, like, work as close as I can to getting it. Or just a time I'm happy with, in general. And once I get my goal time for that, then I'll probably start incorporating uh, P5S into my All World slash uh, JJ Runs a Proud Mode. Yo, Rose, thank you for the raid as well. Hope Stream Stream was good, fam, and all that. I hope you're doing very well. Thank you so much. Happy New Year to you. Yo, Sonic, thank you for the good luck. KH3 has two proofs, and the rando community uh, made a third proof to go along with the system that KH2 does. Fell asleep and then returned to the part you normally fall asleep at. Yeah, I do be that way sometimes. Sorry about that. <laughs> Yeah, it's like the Proof of Fantasies, I think, is the one that's, like, custom-made. It's kind of neat. Yeah, I'm not uh, advocating for a potential, like, agree or disagree for KH3 Rando, but I'd rather we not just, you know, be super negative about stuff. I mean, it's fine to feel that way, but let's not, like, go, like, super hard on that, please. I'd appreciate it. Like, regardless of whatever side of, uh, opinion people have on things, it's just not a very good, uh, energy. It's just not very good energy to be kind of like that, so I'd appreciate it if we don't go down that path, but... It's fair. People are allowed to like or dislike whatever they wish, and I'm not gonna really hold anything against them. I mean, I don't know. I, I just don't think it's that big of a deal. And like, there's no. I just want to defuse the situation before it escalates. There's no reason for anyone to get heated about anything. It's just opinions on stuff. Like, there's no need for that. Yeah, I don't think it really got to that point, to be honest. It's like, no one was really that, uh... <laughs> vicious, or whatever you may have. I just don't want to potentially get to that point with people who don't agree on certain things. It's, it's whatever. Okay, I need to purposely fail this minigame. I think I remember the timing, hopefully. <laughs> It's the same thing with other randomizers. People like it or they don't like it. And it's fine if you feel one way or the other. It doesn't really matter to me. I, for one, am looking forward to playing KH3 Rando eventually. It just doesn't interest me at the moment. Only thing with KH1 Rando is that it's hard. <laughs> Because you kind of have to know the game really well in order to uh, do it reasonably. It's not as accessible as other stuff, but it's pretty fun when you know what's going on in it. YouTube channel is pretty much KH content. YouTube channel is whatever I want it to be, but primarily I would say yes, that is correct. Really, dude? I failed it? I'm surprised that was late, actually. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> it's a silly way to lose time. Well, that's like one of my only real mistakes I've made in this run so far. <laughs> that was pretty bad. I view it the same way as uh, KH2 chess, is that you just need to play the game enough to understand where they are. It's not that bad.
<laughs> that time I almost undershot it. That would have been stupid. It might technically be in-game time loss because I might not have as much time to do some of the extra stuff I normally like to do before the four hour mark, but uh, 40, 30-ish seconds shouldn't be a gigantic deal in terms of all the stuff I want to get done. Because I should be out of this world within the next like 10 minutes. And that's going to give me like 10 to 15 minutes to uh, do whatever I want. And I shouldn't need that much time to do all the major stuff like Jungle Slider and a uh, couple revisit things. Randomizer's never really been my cup of tea anyway, but I always find it fun to kind of look into once in a while. Like, I did KH1 Rando for a bit in, in amidst uh, Dark Souls. Because I was kind of taking a break from speedrunning for a bit, but uh, speedruns is always going to be where my heart and soul lies, I feel. <laughs> it's not that I am opposed to doing casual stuff, it's more so that I just have a much higher interest doing speedrun-related things, but... Casual stuff feels fantastic when I'm kind of burnt out on speedrunning for a little bit. This is usually what I like to save casual things for so I don't get burnt out on either thing. <clears throat> I think I'm going to stream Dark Souls 2 as my next casual game after uh, P5S. I was going back and forth and I just kind of said to myself, fuck it, I don't care. <laughs> If people aren't the biggest fan of Dark Souls 2, that's perfectly fine, but I'm gonna play through the Souls game and give my uh, actual thoughts and th feelings on how I feel about 2 as I experience it. I'm pretty- my next casual games are pretty much gonna be between Dark Souls series and Persona series at this point. It's like the next several set of casual games I feel like playing. It's like after Dark Souls 2, I'll probably play, uh... P4G, and then after P4G, I'll probably play, uh, what's it called? Dark Souls 3. <laughs> as far as, like, casual game list is, uh, concerning, and then we'll just kind of go from there. Hey, Henry, what's up? Happy New Year to you as well. May you become even more handsome than you are now. That's the plan. Your boy is gonna go from Chad to Giga Chad in the next 12 months. Watch. Strangers of Paradise? Uh, I'll have to take a look at it and see, because I'm not even familiar with how that game is. Shoot. Oh my god, dude, this is impossible. <laughs> there we go, that should be 20. <laughs> Phew. I was getting a little bit scared there, because I need to do it on an under 30, and I was kind of uh, fucking up a bit. I got a rare nut. Whoa, camera. <laughs> that was fun.
Like, I feel like with how much Dark Souls 2 is talked about, and talked, yes, talked about, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm half tempted to actually just see it for what it is and kind of get the idea, because I'm just kind of thinking to myself, why is this game so notorious? I know people have gone over, like, the general reasons for their, like, you know, feelings on stuff, but it's like I'm still not convinced, like, with the info I've heard about development and whatnot, to, like, really... I don't know. Like, it's just, it's strange to me that I've I've heard such a disdain for two from other, from two. About two from other people. I can't talk. I think Pog Slide might not be doable on this unless you do like the insane Toji Hop strat, because English text takes too long to get past. <laughs> I did fix his hands. I found one person who went out of their way to make the hands normally uh, green instead of yellow. And I was like, hey, I remembered someone said they didn't like that, so I'll change it. I love you too, Lady Luck. Catch these hands. Really? Come on. <laughs> oh, torn page five is a meme. I will hopefully be able to talk to this dude before Owl gets back. <laughs> I'm a little bit frightened, to be honest. I hope I can advance this text quick enough. Please hurry up. I don't like this. Okay, this should be fine. Good, okay. Not a big deal. Wait till they make a KH first person shooter. Yeah, like our just the, the friggin' uh, mech. <laughs> the mech in Toy Story or the blaster attraction in uh, KH3. Yeah, same thing. KH Battle Royale. Well, I mean, when they add the new KH character to the Fortnite DLC, I mean, we basically will have that. Yeah, it's time to wake up, do other stuff besides go to 100 Acre Wood, and we're gonna go back in, actually, really quick. Because <laughs> we're not quite done here yet. There's a couple things left here. See ya. Hello? Talk to Pooh Bear, gives you a mithril, and then I need to talk to Owl so I get Sora's cheer. And then after that, 100 Acre Wood is, is Garbanzo. 
Bad. No more. Next up is Talk to Fairy G. Get the summons, get the yellow trinity behind the house, get the puppies behind the house, get the AP up behind the house. And then uh, we start our trek through various worlds. To get a few things done before the four hour mark now. Leave through the save point, put on the shield two gummy. Um, yes, okay. Which would be uh, this one right here. Uh, next up, let me warp to Hollow Bastion and get the blue trinity that is in the dungeon. Waterway? Okay. I haven't saved the game in an hour. Jesus. Well, most of the game was me just, like, going through worlds and Hundred Acre Woods, so it's not surprising. Um, Thunder. Okay. See ya! Reason behind two save point types, um, some are only temporary and then others are actual worlds like checkpoints you can dock in from. The ones that have a solid uh, ground underneath them are checkpoints for the world, like this one. Ones that just kind of spin around, uh, here let's go to Neverland. The ones that just kind of spin around that don't have a base to them are just temporary as meant to be like a reprieve because they'll eventually go away and or uh, aren't accessible anymore after a certain point. Yeah, Olympus save point is unique in that regard. I don't know why that one isn't just uh, a normal save point. But maybe they thought it was superfluous to have an actual save point when you have a fucking uh, world exit. Hey Armin, what's up? Thank you for the good luck, I appreciate that. So they just made that one uh, different, just so there wasn't just like, you want to dock in this room or the room next to it, and that's it <laughs> kind of situation. So I mean, I can kind of understand why, although it is a bit silly. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> for some reason, I was—I thought I was in the uh, synthesis farming. I just want to get this trinity for now. I feel like in the worst case scenario, they could have just made it so that that save point isn't there until after you get the uh, thingy, though. So, I don't know. It seems kind of strange. <clears throat> yeah, that particular green trinity is kind of bullshit. <laughs> they put a green trinity on just the fucking green surface texture. Like, what are you talking about, dude?
probably the most uh, obnoxiously placed Trinity in the game, as far as like trying to have the player find out where it is. Not gonna say it's the only Trinity in the game that's annoying, but it's probably the most like well hidden and very fucking obnoxiously placed Trinities they could they could have put for a blue or for a green rather. <laughs> None of the other trinities really bother me that much, but uh, that green one in particular, it's pretty bad. Very evil. How's first 2022 run going? Uh, it's very 2022-y. Which I don't know if that's good or bad yet, <laughs> to be honest. So far it seems fine. This music fucking slaps, by the way. One of my favorite songs in the game, to be honest. I'm sad we don't really hear it much. Have a good holiday. Holiday season was phenomenal. Thank you for asking. I hope it was for everyone else, too. We usually hear like the first two seconds of the song in most speedruns, but in this particular category, we hear it for like more than that. We actually hear it all the way through because we have to do 30 fruits for a dark matter. I thought I missed that fruit for a second there. That was bad. <laughs> or it was almost really bad, but then it wasn't. And now this one's crazy because we go like really fucking fast on the slide. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> the camera's having an earthquake with how fast we go. Okay. There we are. And that's Jungle Slider done. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> I totally made that jump the second time. Don't, don't BS me. We don't need the power-up. Run's actually accommodated for the fact that we it, you usually don't have enough time to do Jungle Slider before four in-game hours, and then after that point, uh, strength doesn't matter. Better to spend time doing other things, because it's gonna tick over to four in-game hours by the time I get the power-up anyway. And that's time I could be spent actually doing stuff I need, like getting Trinity synthesis items and such. So I can get the same thing for, uh... And I can get the same thing done, but achieve more at the same time. So it's not... Ooh, cool. Chompy. I can get Cure Arts right now, which would be fantastic. Heal. If you would, uh, be nice to me, please. No. Dude. Thank you. <laughs> He's shaking back and forth, dude. Don't do that. Get on your fucking... Thank you. Get on the ground! <laughs> Hands up! White uh, mushrooms have actually been quite... Uh... What's the word I'm looking for? 
Uh, what the fuck do I do now? I guess I'll go to Halloween Town. Not generous, they've uh, been working very well with me. Like, they've been not assholes. <laughs> Cooperative, thank you. Uh, right. <laughs> I any percented? Oops. Now, if I could get uh, white mushrooms to show up here, that would be phenomenal, but probably not. Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, their spawn rate in this room seems to be very rare after the initial visit. I got black fungus on the way back here, which is actually really good. <laughs> Only time getting black fungus in Moonlight Hill is good. I can avoid uh, fighting enemies there to go into that door. That was great. Being a little too ambitious, I think, with, uh... What I'm trying to get done here, but we're gonna try. <laughs> I don't want enemies to spawn here, so I want to grab these chests, like, right away. Where are we dropping? Ah, fuck. No, I don't think so, dude. <laughs> this dude's gonna spawn more enemies, and then Chimera's gonna show up. Yeah, it's not worth it. That's okay. I'll try to see if I can get white mushrooms to show up, like right now, but otherwise uh, I'll just leave. Not a big deal. I have like, th like, 30 to 45 seconds to kill, so maybe they can show up here and that'd be cool. Probably not. Doesn't look like it. No. Okay, I guess I'm gonna leave for now. It's fine. My time is... Oh, actually... Mm. <laughs> I have time for like one or two more room transitions. Hold up. Oh! What up? Oh my god, and I got it all three the first time too. Sick. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm done with magic arts already. That's I think this is the very first run I've ever done of Plat, where I have every single magic arts before uh, cycle two. That's crazy. Perfect timing as well, because it takes about 10 seconds in-game time for uh, the warp to go through. I'll wait like two seconds here just to make sure I don't dock it like fucking 359.59. Okay, that should be fine. Damn. Uh, cool. And now let's go fight Riku. Use all stat boosts. Um, well, first off, let me equip cheer. Oh, that's probably why I do the stat boost, so I have AP. <laughs> Oops. All the stat boosts on Sora. Um, cheer, tech boost, and hurricane blast. Where is tech boost? And hurricane blast, good. And uh, save the game. And let's go fight Riku.
That's a lot of weight off my shoulders, actually. No uh, wide mushroom farming in Cycle 2 for their magic uh, item arts thing. That's really cool. I can put up a comparison after Riku, but it's not going to really matter that much. Very clunky fight so far. Welcome, Oblivion. This Riku fight was kind of abysmal. I'm gonna blame my controller for the attack button, even though it's not been an issue for like this entire run so far. Oh, that's a split. Okay. Too used to uh, splits automatically going through for me when I do shit like that. Damn, I didn't know there was a Riku 3. That's even more impressive that I managed to do Riku 3. When you try to make a joke, but you fail it. <laughs> Nothing new for the KH community. Also, it'd be good if the KH community had more than like three jokes in their pocket. So uh, maybe a New Year's resolution is for them to learn uh, how to be funny. <laughs> Myself included. I just saw, like, a fucking tweet that Stickman Sham posted, like, yesterday or the day before, when he's, like... <laughs> oh, it was, it was good. He posted a picture of, like, the obligatory KH nerd and had the caption, like, Wow, this is a weird-looking randomizer seed you got here when he's just playing the game normally. I'm just like, dude, <laughs> I feel this on so many fucking levels. Why. I'm like, my guy knows what's up. <laughs> uh, it is true, though. Yo, Super Originality, what's up? Thank you for the good luck. Yo, Waterlord, what up, dude? Just be days for the first time? Hey, good shit, man. Maybe someday I'll be able to say the same thing, but not right now. they'll ever remake days in calm well i mean they already have remade calm 
Now, will they remake Days? I hope so. That'd be cool. Uh, PS3 or HD Recom has cards that are specific to uh, the Days movie being viewed on the remasters, I'm pretty sure, which is what PS2 didn't have. I don't have any shield, that's kind of Monka. <laughs> I have shield, it is no longer Monka. Replace Donald for Beast. Okay. I'll save the game while I'm here. Interesting how this save point doesn't have a solid background, or solid, um, like, floor to it, like the other ones. I guess there's not much uh, consistency between save points, then. <laughs> In hindsight, it's kind of weird. Are we in Endgame? I mean, for unchanged armor, I guess. We still got another, like, five million years to go for the Platinum Trophy. You know, I thought I dismissed Dumbo too early there. I'm glad I didn't. It was a little scary. Hey, Suburbian. What up, dude? Great start to 2022. Good luck in the next five hours. Thank you so much. I hope we're doing well. Um... This is fine.
Also, I have 8 MP, which means I have Lucky Strike. I should put that on. Okay. <laughs> Just noticing that. I don't know, Miles hunting down that fucking wizard's relic, which I mean, I guess is fair enough. <laughs> May as well be a fucking prey and predator situation when you're a speedrunner and you need to get the fucking like 0.2% chance. <laughs> Preach. I just think of like a fucking like monk as a bird like trying to fly away from like a fucking like cougar or some shit. <laughs> How that's prage or like prey on the play on prage, I don't fucking know. <laughs> but sure. It is almost time. Um, equip EXP zero and unequip Hurricane Blast. And save. I'm level 48. Oh man, it's the second time today that I get to say this, where I get to play the audio. <laughs> I would say this if I didn't have a thing already set up. <laughs> man. Miss never cannot skip again. this cutscene because this cutscene we'll is an unskippable cutscene that he cannot skip no because it is unskippable. Are, our hearts will bring us together again. Besides, I couldn't forget that, you. That last part hits wanted. different now. What's that supposed to mean? Can I tell you where I can find mod of no gummies in Cage 2? No, I do not know where that is. I'm sorry. I'm not really sorry. big in the mod scene, scene of things, so I'm the wrong person to ask. Yo, staff man, what's up, dude? Oh my goodness. People actually have the, the, the sauce on these things? That's crazy.
<laughs> Post it to Nair's OnlyFans. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Unequip EXP Zero, equip Hurricane Blast. Uh, does Donald have Lucky Strike by any means? Uh, no he does not, okay. We're gonna save Warp to Rising Falls, and do the rest of the visit here. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of important, isn't it? Uh, I was like, oh, what the fuck? I was way too focused on other things. I was like trying to think, like, what I have to, what I have to do in End of the World, and I was like, oh, fucking White Trinity. Pick that up. Smart one. Talk to me. Hey, Vernon, what's up, dude? What's inside the White Trinity chest? A Thundaga gummy, which is completely useless. <laughs> In uh, PS4 plot. In PS3 plot, it actually has value, because you need those. Uh, you need Thundaga juice for a mission, but we don't need to do that, so nothing to worry about. Oh, where's the, where's the thingy? Okay. Mist cannot skip this cutscene because this cutscene is an unskippable cutscene that he cannot skip because it is unskippable. Yo, Mega Arcade, Happy New Year. Uh, run is good so far. Beru. Pick up Divine Rose, leave through the library. Save, okay. Alright, now last time I did End of the World, I got jack shit for Gale Drops. So here's hoping things are a little bit less uh, stingy. But what's really gonna happen, I have no fucking idea. <laughs> uh, ideally, I would get like three to four, maybe even five plus Gale Drops, and that'd be pretty nice. But uh, maybe I'll get zero, because this game sucks. <laughs> have to wait and find out. Top Gun. I get that reference. Do I actually? Probably not. Okay, good start, zero gills. <laughs> uh, Alright. Right there with the fuck. 
Um, use Cottage and equip EXP Zero. They didn't re-release it on PS5, but PS5 is backwards compatible with PS4 games, and the game loads very slightly faster on 5 compared to 4. I can get the kill in time. Cool, that was a really fast fight. One cycle behemoth is always good. Yo, Hero Tail 6, uh, run is going pretty okay. No major mistakes so far. I mean, uh, notable errors for sure, but like there's been nothing like catastrophic, so that's all I can really ask for. Please, dude, get down there. Um, save, because why not? How is there five hours left in Where at End of the World? Because I haven't done anything in post game or synthesis related yet. <laughs> Does Donald happen to... He should have it, right? He doesn't have Lucky Strike yet? <laughs> what the heck? Give me strength. Or does he and I, I just can't like friggin' see it because I'm dumb? <laughs> Fifty-five? Really? I feel like that's really late. <laughs> Did you pick up the magic staff for Donald? Yes. I, I, well, I, I don't know which one you're specifically referring to, but I picked up the staff that's in the room before this room, after Behemoth. I'm also going to pick up the shield for Goofy that's in the Neverland Terminal, which is probably this next one right here. Yep, okay. Interesting time for that trophy to pop up. Hey, Xeno, what's up, dude? Have a great year and keep grinding the best game. Will do, good sir. Happy New Year to you as well. I get a gale drop like okay well i got one there i don't know if i got a second one or i got a potion or something i wasn't paying attention a lot was happening at once it was hard for me to see that
Only one Gale? I mean, that's better than last time. <laughs> Gives me hope I might actually get some stuff in Final Rust. I actually don't remember what the final rest strat is for uh, this particular part. I know it's say to use Mushu and do it like level 1, but I don't know how uh, how accurate that actually is. It's not a big deal, I'll figure it out. I mean, I guess either would work, but probably the Mushu one is safer. Unequip EXP zero, um, Cottage, and a uh, Mega Elixir for safety. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, that's fine. No big deal. I'm only at level 48 right now, so there's no way in hell Donald is 55. <laughs> Unless he's like cheating or some shit. <laughs> Okay, now I'm level 49. Kales, please, I'd appreciate that. Maybe, please, probably not. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. No, this looks pretty bad. <laughs> Thank you. I got two gales this whole first visit, which I guess I'll, it's better than zero, like last time, but still very underwhelming. Actually, no. Um, equip EXP zero. Unequip Hurricane Blast. Equip Second Wind, Lucky Strike. Okay, there it is. Lucky Strike, of course, no. Um, and Leaf Bracer if I haven't. And Second Wind, okay. Whatever uh, level Donald was at right there was when he learns it. Yo Apex, thank you for the good luck, I appreciate that. Gale is a synthesis item that the invisibles and uh, angel stars can drop, which is necessary to, uh, oop, split. Please. <laughs> to, uh, complete everything. Why use the XP zero? So I'm not doing chip damage, and also you'll see in a minute. 
Also so I can fuck this dude's day up with Mushu in a minute. No, uh, the only things invisibles can drop. Well, it wouldn't fucking matter anyway, because I'm at the point of no return. <laughs> Once I go through that door, synthesis items are useless. They just- they program the special enemies to only drop recovery items. Ass with the webcam toggle, I got you, fam. Thank you for that. Okay, um, can't really do much here aside from, uh, fucking just dump items, I guess. Why not? <laughs> Sean with the webcam toggle, the no you, I got you. It's so a common misconception that people think elixirs or invisibles normally drop elixirs. When in reality they're specifically programmed to drop elixirs during a World of Chaos, they normally only drop high potions as their item. Yoju, same to you, good sir. I was close to getting DM'd, but thankfully not. Actually, that's not true. Ours guaranteed me a DM skip there, so that's not, uh, it didn't do nothing. It just didn't do much offensively. So it made the fight more consistent, which is good. I will not be doing the risky Ansem 4, and here's why. First of all, if I fuck it up, I lose like 10 minutes. Secondly, you, uh, what's it called? You do not have Raven's Claw equipped, because this is unchanged armor. Which negates a lot of Darkness's damage. And I did this in practice. And you still get two shots. <laughs> Outside of the arrow casting, which is pretty fucking ridiculous, so it's it's not safe in any fucking capacity. Which is too bad, because I probably wouldn't would have would go for it if that wasn't the case, but because we don't have Raven's Claw, that makes a really big difference in the damage output. So it is not a good idea at all for this category.
I kind of want that. You bastard. <laughs> I wasn't going to be able to kill before the knockback and I was mad. See ya. Please don't kill me. <laughs> Got a little scared there. Bouncing around. Oh, this dark ball room is ass. This is like unironically one of the worst fights in KH1. <laughs> Which is really sad, actually. Damn, that first fire went through that, I saw that shit. Too bad. Mod Centipede on Beginner is not that bad, so I wouldn't say that's universally the worst. Um... Hard to say, to be honest. Like, what is, like, actually, unironically the worst fight in KH1 across the board. And some 3 is probably the worst fight across the board. I mean, if you know the strat on proud mode, the fight's fine, but it's just such a silly way of having to deal with it. And on standard and beginner, that fight's trash anyway, so... Gotcha. Welcome to darkness, you <laughs> cool. And that's cycle 1 completed now. Hey, Joey, what up? Time to watch Miss Master now? It's unfortunate because uh, I'm about to take a break. <laughs> because I've been playing for five hours and I have to sit through here now. But, uh, it is what it is. Anyway.
you said before? Oh. I'm always with Mist you cannot skip this cutscene because this cutscene is I an promise. unskippable cutscene that he cannot skip because it is unskippable. Anyway, uh, what's it called? I need to set out these credits in order to get the, uh, unchanged armor and undefeated and whatever trophies coming my way. So, uh, next 15 or so minutes is kind of, uh, just Snoresville. <laughs> you get to uh, witness this amazing, uh, silent film. You're meant to uh, think of it as you wish. <laughs> I can't play the music because Twitch is, uh, Twitch with that, so... I'm gonna be back, I'm gonna take a break, use the bathroom, maybe get a snack. I just wanna say thank you everyone who's watched so far. Uh, hopefully Synthesis treats me okay in Cycle 2, cause Cycle 1 actually went over pretty okay, but... <laughs> I guess we'll find out. I'll see you guys in a second. Time's like a thousand. <laughs>
Okay, I'm back now. Hope you're doing well, <clears throat> person who is hearing this. <laughs> Risky with the webcam toggle? What the heck? Oh man. I guess I gotta go black and white. Going old school. <laughs> oh my goodness, what the heck, dude? <laughs> oh, you changed your mind. I was like, wait a minute, did I read that wrong? <laughs> Let's see, is is a Yufifi, 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 where is Yufifi? Oh, Yufifi, there, Christy Carlson is Yufifi. Nice, uh, nice typo in the credits there. <laughs> Yufifi, <laughs> or some bullshit. I have heard Coliseum mod is being made for KH3, which is pretty cool. Have I seen any of it? No. But have I heard of it? Yes. It's pretty cool. Yo, Chef, what up, dude? Now the fun part of the run? Hell yeah. You know what? Fine, I'll give. How is my current pace? Eh, it's okay. I'm gonna try my best not to look at that, though. <laughs> like, actually being ahead, and on top of that, having more stuff done, I think, than PB is a good sign. But that can just go away in two seconds when we get to RNG synthesis, so we'll have to wait and find out. Yo, Norkix, thank you so much for the five gifties to uh, RoryS49, Darkslash15, Chris Switch, Mega Arcade, and Onion Knight00. And as for the five of you, welcome to the Mist Continent, and enjoy the emotes you can use on Twitch for the next 30 days. Happy New Year, Mist. Happy New Year to you as well. Thank you so much, bud. Very kind of you. As I feel this is my fastest run of 2022, feels, uh, cool. In the infamous and famous and notoriety and all this other shit. In the amazing words of ZFG1. Cool. It's his reaction to, like, everything. <laughs> Now I have a confession. <laughs> I accidentally tabbed into my equipment once, but I didn't do bullshit in it, so the game better not count it against me. Because <laughs> I'll be 100% honest, I don't know if that actually affects it. I don't think it should, because that's stupid. Because <laughs> I, I accidentally went into it instead of uh, abilities, but I left it like the moment I tabbed into it, so I never changed anything, so we should be fine. All I'm saying is I'm supposed to get five trophies here. <laughs> if I only get four, that sucks. <laughs> uh, so hopefully that doesn't happen. It won't, it didn't for me. And that's what I figured. I don't know what the, the grounds to actually invalidate the trophy are, though. Like, I don't know if you have to, if it, it's invalidated as soon as you change equipment or you leave the menu after changing your equipment, because the actual stats and everything don't go through. Technically, until you leave the menu, so I don't know, but I, I didn't play around with it. Fastest this can realistically be done? Probably under nine and a half hours with like an insanely good run with good execution and good RNG. But, uh... If you're talking about a task, they could probably do all the synthesis in like, like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> or something crazy like that, which would save quite a bit of time over any person who has ever ran this uh, particular category. Guys, let's go. Yo, Salt, what's up? Nothing much, dude. I hope you're doing well. Just get dream luck. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. My content creator of the year. 
What's a task? Tool assisted speedrun. A run done with emulator, save states, and slowdowns to emulate what would theoretically be the best run possible, but it's not realistic. Fun to watch, though. It's cool to see certain tactics that can't be utilized otherwise. Oh, right, this is proud mode. You guys know what that means? It means when I see the normal ending, we get ourselves a special secret. Oh, yes. This is forced on you no matter what you do. But this is only the normal uh, secret ending. This is not the deep dive part, which we can skip out on by not stealing Olympus's keyhole. Oh my god. What the fuck? Kingdom Hearts 4? 20th anniversary. Oh, dude, the new Nier game looks cool. He's holding a keyblade in both hands. What the fuck? Since when? <laughs> what are we talking about? Uh, I would ask the question, but I don't want to get, like, ligmud, so I I'm not going to ask, but I I'm confused. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Five trophies. One. Two. Three. Four. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was a little bit scared there for a minute, but that's all, that's all good. Uh, unchanged armor took a minute to pop up there, and I was like, game? <laughs> Please don't do me like this. Okay. Okay, now we can change our equipment. Lady Luck goes on. Ray of Light goes on. Royal Crown goes on. EXP Ring goes on Goofy. Um, two Mega Elixirs on Sora. Oh my god. <laughs> There's like a million fucking things on my inventory. And I guess I'll put a Mega Potion on for Kurt later. It's fine. Where was Speedster? Speedster pops up as soon as you beat Ansem 4. Um, Gravira? Yes, okay. I do have EXP 0 on, right? <laughs> Well, I guess we'll find out in a second. I should, because I made the save after I did the menu. Give me strength. <laughs> if I don't, we'll find out very quickly. I can assure you that. I'm pretty sure I do, because I always do a menu, then the save. In the worst case scenario, I have to reload. I don't have to re-menu again, so we should be fine. Okay, we definitely have it on. Let's go. Eh? What do you mean you fucking walked out of my gravity? That's bullshit. Okay, we're not off to the best of starts fighting this dude. How the fuck I evaded that? I have no idea. Well, let's go. <laughs> that was, uh, that was wacky. Come on. 
Is this Xemnas? No, I don't know who the fuck that is. It's not a character in Cage One. This is uh, unknown. Pretty bad fight at the start. Once I got the loop going, it was fine though. Uh, DR Omega Ifrit. Omega Arts, Ifrit's Belt. Um, EXP Necklace on Donald. Unequip EXP Zero. Unequip Hurricane Blast. I should be uh, defeating this thing every time I go back and forth as well. EXP and also a chance at a bright crystal. Uh, Mr. Mr. Fucko, get over here. Don't do this to me. Jeez, dude. Not very nice, are you? I need- ooh, I actually I should be getting a few other things while I'm here. Uh, I need six energy stones. Total. Not gonna lie, I wasn't even paying attention, I was too focused on killing the enemies, I don't know how many I got. I, I know I got at least one. I think I got a second one, maybe I only got one though. I definitely didn't get three. I think it's two, yeah. But I mean, I can always check in the worst case scenario. Um, where is it? Energy stone two. I need to do this room at least two more times. That is correct, Kai Kai. Going 
Wow, okay, cool. <laughs> How fucking rare is that shit, my, my guy? I got a fucking Defender and a Bright Crystal from the same thing. That's, that's nuts. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. I wish I got a Relic instead of a fucking Defender, but I mean, cool. This Defender drop doesn't really mean anything. The Bright Crystal is nice, though. Seriously, man? Oh my god, why the fuck is this so bad? That's four. Is the other one up here, or did it despawn? I had, uh... Oh no, it's back, okay. Cool. And it escaped both times I did that. Wonderful. Okay, that's five energy stones. I just need one more now. Did he equip Lucky Strike on Donald? I should have. I remember it mentioning it, <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I have three Lucky Strikes on. I need one more energy stone I can leave. Okay, well, considering I got a Defender and a Bright Crystal and the Energy Stones relatively fast, not that bad. Only thing that really sucked about this segment was, uh... Just double check, yeah. I had a really bad start to my uh, Unknown fight, but it was fine otherwise. Decent start to Synthesis. Talking to Lance House, um, Lady Luck, I need Ray of Light, that's Inferno Band, Ray of Light, uh, Raven's Claw, no Royal Clown, Royal Clown, <laughs> uh, obviously. EXP Zero needs to go on, unequip Hurricane Blast, and, uh, Mega Potion in case of emergency, gotcha. Don't use Tinkerbell, because we're not bitches. We're just idiots. Big difference. I equip EXP zero because if I don't, I can't do the strat I'm about to do. Otherwise, this damage Mushu is doing right now would be absolutely nothing by comparison. I'm gonna be a little bit tight on damage here, actually. Hurry up, please. Okay, just made it. What's wrong with tanking this fight? Slow. Um, DR Omega Arts if it's belts. Um, Mighty Shield on Goofy. EXP Ring is already there. Uh, Royal Crown and Ray of Light. Ray of Light, yep. Um, Violetta on Donald. Unequip EXP Zero for Hurricane Blast. Unequip all abilities besides Cheer and Lucky Strike on Party. Uh... Fine. 
The only boss we fight without EXP zero is Sephi, because we need the EXP to hit level 100. With how this is currently routed, anyway. Yo, Big Pop Animal, thank you for the good to sub to Crunch Dogs. Hey, welcome back, my dude. <laughs> And as for Crunch Dogs, welcome back to the Mist Continent and enjoy the emotes you can use on Twitch for the next 30 days still. Very nice of you, Big Papa. Hope you've been well. Happy New Year. One mithril stone. <laughs> Happy New Year, Dad. Thank you so much. Happy New Year to you as well. Oh my god, thank you for another gifted sub to Sean. And as for Sean, welcome back to the Mist Continent and enjoy the emotes you can use on Twitch for the next 30 days still. <laughs> thank you, Big Papa. Uh, stop pushing the dude. Thank you. Um, that shouldn't matter. I hope. <laughs> I don't think I need that hurricane blast damage for a two cycle. I didn't think so? Okay. Is there a special trick to force this guy to attack? Uh, whenever you force uh, a parry on him while he's in the middle of a move, you cut it short, and it forces uh, Pot Scorpion to be aggressive. Like, I'll, I'll mention it when it happens the next time. We can't read what your drops are? That's okay. I I'm the only one that needs to know. <laughs> So I'm gonna wait a minute here. I'm gonna attack him like this, he'll shake, and then he's gonna come after me. And then I'm gonna guard this, and then uh, go for it. Attack again, force him to attack me. And then just repeat that. Hey, you know what pot is him? Um, I go around pushing them, and whenever you get to one of the pots that he's in, it won't move when you try to run into it as Sora. It'll just stay stagnant, and that's the one that Pot Centipede is. Or uh, Pot Scorpion. Like, see, I can't move this one right here. So I know that's not the r that's uh, Pot Scorpion. Because all the other pots move a little bit when you nudge them, but he will not nudge. This has been pretty bad RNG so far. Three uh, Mithril Stones, I think, and he didn't drop one. I didn't get any on one visit. I gotta defeat him until I get eight Mithril Stones. That's what's required for all recipes. So, in theory, I'm fighting him an infinite amount of times because there's no guarantee on the drop rate. But hopefully we won't uh, have that happen. Hey, there's a Mithril Stone to make up for the fact I didn't get one last time. Thank you for that. <laughs> cool.
That's also why I do the minigame that way, because sometimes you can get an extra Mithril Stone. Okay. Well, I got two Mithril Stones this time, so it's like I got a normal drop when I was supposed to, so I'm not as mad anymore. That's fine. That went from being bad RNG to average RNG with that, so it's okay. No, Goofy, don't. Ah, oh, you fucker. <laughs> well, that's too bad. I dropped my combo, so now I go slow. I disagree. I parried that. But sure, why not? Let me just double check really quick. I think that's six. Mithril? No, yeah, it is six, okay. So, uh, this visit has been pretty bad. And if you give me a drop now, I can leave, which would be much preferred, good sir. Like, a drop from him right now means I got decent luck. Thank you. Okay, well, we take those. Not the best, but certainly not the worst. dock in final rest and now this is where i lose a million years because i don't have any gales <laughs> um equip second chance mp gift and cheer on goofy i already have that second chance mp gift mp rage as well why not um mp haste mp rage second wind on donald's and leap racer as well unequip tech boost and cheer Uh, equip strike raid. Where is that? There it is. Okay. Um, now we uh, have some fun here. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for a gale drop right away. I will definitely want those hotkeyed. Three. Okay. Just to make sure I keep track of that. I need eight of those in total. are like unironically the worst part of this game when they want to be it's kind of unfortunate i could do with uh some neo shadows though that'd be nice i haven't seen any yet
I might have to go two rooms away to spawn uh, Neo Shadows, because it's kind of weird they haven't showed up yet. Five. So that's five gales, one stormy stone, so far. First wave was like gone, dude. <laughs> I think there's only one left now. Jeez. <laughs> this was a really fast uh, Neo Shadow Room. What the fuck? As long as I get one here, that is. Okay, two. Five and two. I use my own notes, like I know I need 8 gales and 4 stormy stones respectively, so I'm just keeping a mental note how many I have of each right now. Defense. Oh come on. <laughs> it's not what I wanted to see when I turned my camera around. Five and three. Which is good because that means Neo Shadows, I don't have to go back two rooms over and over again now. Okay. Damn. Neo Shadows were out for blood against my party. What the fuck was that about? I'm amazed none of them went after me. just need three gales and I can leave now, so Stormy Stones are done. Defense. Not too bad. Three, or I need two more gales now after that. Donald, I hate you. 
<laughs> Unless I get two Gale drops right here, then that's that's RNG manip. No, okay. Let's have synthesis take longer than it needs to, obviously. Seven. That dude just like gave me his Gale because <laughs> he ran into me and died and then dropped it. So one more Gale and I can leave. This actually hasn't been too bad. But I know PV had like insane luck in End of the World on Cycle 1, so not great for my splits per se. I was, I was rolling my eyes because I was like, yeah, of course you would, but uh, he was just being a nice guy and prepping my gale drop, so fair enough. I can, I understand now. I misunderstood. <laughs> Honestly, that wasn't too bad. I just wish I got more gale drops on cycle one is all. Uh, three mega ethers. One elixir, two megas. I didn't have to do half that many there. It's okay. Um, unequip Lucky Strike on Sora for now. Um, equip Tech Boost on Sora. Where is it? MP haste on Goofy if it's not already on. Where is it? Yeah. Um, unequip Lucky Strike on Donald for MP Rage. And then Blizzard over Gravity. Seal the keyhole and then save the game. I did remember to seal the keyhole. I won't lose a minute at the end of this run because of that. <laughs> at this point. Um, mostly just in case of a random crash. It's good to save the game every so often when you play it for a while. Even though a crash on PS4 is extremely rare. Also, if I happen to use up items, then, uh... Well, actually, that's not really a big deal in this, because you have so many fucking uh, Mega Elixirs and shit, but... I feel like it's just a good habit, because I have had this game crash on me in the middle of a plat run. It's not very fun. If you crash as I'd kill the speedrun on PC, it kills the speedrun on pretty much everything. <laughs> Dalmatian crash is a thing when you open a Dalmatian chest after having a lot of jackpots equipped and doing a lot of farming. It's really silly. It's been a thing since PS4 release, and I think it can happen on any version of the game that uh, is PS4 and onward. Come and get 
Is that supposed to hurt, Yuffie? I don't know. Crash in Halloween Town in Cage 2? It's like if you, uh, like the experiment crash? If you die out of the RC before you hit the ground? When you're putting his head and body back together? I think. Very specific, but not unlikely to happen when you're doing level 1 stuff. Yeah, it's been a thing for a while. I remember Dean played, uh, the... what's it called? PS4 version at a game event. I forget exactly which one it was. And he went to, like, before uh, PS4 1.5 plus 2.5 came out. And he went to see if the Xemnas crash was still in the PS4 version, and then it got fixed before, uh... <laughs> the actual release happened, like, worldwide. Come on, dude. <laughs> Annoying. It's fine. It was funny because uh, the initial thing with the fast gauges was actually better for the bag minigame. <laughs> In terms of it being faster, but then it like fucked up everything else. Like Syx's uh, gauge and Vexen's gauge were scuffed as fuck, and it was bad. Uh, unequipped tech boost and hurricane blast. Let me see. Tech boost, Hurricane Blast for EXP 0. Um, equip Air Combo plus 1 and 2. Shiva Belt over Omega Earths, which is this for this. Um, auto Target goes off. And then touch the save point for uh, MP refill. Will Mist enter the Sephiroth fight by accident? <laughs> At least once during this run? Probably. I'll be run, run be runny. It's okay. Probably a few minutes behind PB, just because RNG hasn't been fantastic out the gate, but runs okay so far. Lucid's cards have, uh, I don't know about the time gauge, but I know his cards are fucked up on PS4. And it's kind of annoying. The power of the Keyblade! 
It is a 60 FPS issue, so if you switch it to 30 FPS, his cards behave like normal. If people actually tested that. That's interesting. Is eating a burger patty with rice weird? I don't think so. I've heard stranger things. Is it like unorthodox? Probably. But then I think to myself, like, would it be much different if you put rice and then you mashed up the burger and you put the burger on top of the rice and like scooped it so it had like two layers of like food there? I don't think that's very uh, unusual. <laughs> Yo, Cuddlecore, what's up? Hope we're doing well. Please get out of here. <laughs> Uh, Stealth Sneak is green, Stealth Army is black. That's how it's always been across every version of the game, as far as I'm aware. Happy New Year's to you as well, Cuddlecoin. We chillin'? True. The Stealth Army is actually a, technically a different enemy <laughs> than Stealth Sneak. It just has more HP. Actually, it has less HP, I think. Weirdly enough. Like, it hits harder, obviously. But actually, I think it technically has less health. Like, it has two bars of health, but Stealth Sneak has uh, two and a half. <laughs> Weirdly enough. That was pretty good. And this should kill. Almost. Okay. <laughs> good Cerberus fight. How many Blazing Stones do you need total? Um, Six or seven, I'm forgetting. Offhand. I'll, I can scroll to my notes and tell you in a little bit, but uh, I think it's either six or seven. Because an ideal thing does that in, what's it called? Two cycles, or two fights. So six to seven seems more like it. Oathkeeper, uh, air combo plus on Sora comes off. Where are we at? Air combo plus, air combo plus. Undog over Fyraga. And this can be uh, Revira. That's save point. Yes, PS5 load times are slightly faster than PS4 across the board. In a category like this, it probably saves, like I would estimate around, what? Four to five minutes? Because in uh, beginner mode, it's like almost a minute faster for any percent. So I imagine if this category is about five times longer, probably four to five minutes faster. That might not necessarily be true, but uh, probably somewhere around there, like three between three and five minutes, maybe. Can I apply these notes to any run? Do you mean like the plat notes specifically? 
Because to do certain things optimally, you have to change things up a little bit more than what Platt does, but they're not a bad uh, basis for just generally playing through the game. But I wouldn't say they're, like, ideal for playing it outside of Platt. Well, at least that, uh, at least that MP gift went through, although it would have been better if it landed on me instead. <laughs> it's fine. Undaga times two. Thunder. I should throw a Mega Ether soon. Probably should have done it earlier, to be honest. And he broke apart anyway, so that's cool, I guess. Third, two Thundagas. Next one is also two Thundagas, and I should probably throw a uh, Mega Ether after this. I should have thrown it earlier, but it's fine. Damn it! <laughs> I should have not cast that cure until next round, that's annoying. Cloud, shut up. No one is interested in what you're selling. What is going on? Like, is this a fucking party going on in this corner right now, dude? <laughs> oh my goodness. Help. I'm surrounded by fuckfest. Come on. This fight is so obnoxious, dude. Get me out of here. <laughs> Pinocchio up in this. Thank you, Christ Almighty. No way. Man, what an awful fight. Gross, very gross. Nothing to it. This particular Hades Cup has been slow.
Not really, kids on Black Ops. I was too distracted by uh, the fight going so painfully slow that I didn't notice. <laughs> that was a really bad C20. Yo, Ethan, what's up? Thank you for the thunders, Donald. You're cool. You're very cool. You're so cool. Oh my god, why? <laughs> Uh, I'm getting, I'm getting upset. <laughs> Video game just doesn't want me to go fast right now. This is really annoying. <laughs> Please don't do, don't do me this way. Do me a different way. Oh, what the fuck? Hello? They survived the wrath of Zeus? Literally how? <laughs> I, I don't understand. Actually, no. Uh, I'm not going to use a Mega Elixir, if I can help it. Regular Elixir would be better. Attempted a DM skip on Hades. This seed sucks, and I hate it. Are you kidding me? That Gravira didn't fucking hit any of them. That's so bad. I am upset. <laughs> I am extremely upset. I'm gonna die. Almost. Thank you for DM skip, Donald behaved. I appreciate that. I didn't even have to use any items, that was actually quite nice.
kind of made up for a few, like, that made up for the bad Leon and Cloud fight earlier, so we take that. Pyraga over Thundaga. Uh, Graviga is fine. Two elixirs, four megas. Uh, yes, I guess. Fine. <laughs> Bit of a weird way of doing things, but should be fine. Okay. That was the Storyteller Trophy. All uh, story parts of the game are completed at this point. What the fuck? Hello? That's bullshit. I don't know if anyone caught that. Uh, because of the way uh, Stealth Sneak or Stealth Army's model roved around there, and I got a fucking DM when he's in 1 HP. Epic, dude. <laughs> he actually pushed the invisible out of my gravity cast, and now I lose even more time here because I thought the finisher would kill when it didn't. That's, uh, that's fun. This has been a really bad Hades Cup. Sadly. I know better than to do that though, so I'm just disappointed that I, I made that mistake, because it's easily preventable. Would have saved myself literally like 20 seconds if I just didn't do the stupid thing right there. This game is very, like, KH is very frustrating to make mistakes when you know what the solution is supposed to be, but you just do stuff out of a hurry or a panic. Not very fun. That's not, uh, Arzo Canum. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Oy vey, can I please have something on the board?
No, <laughs> you idiot. Oh, uh, why? Something hasn't felt right about this uh, particular set. Like, I feel very weak compared to where I should be. I don't know exactly why that's the case, though. Maybe my equipment isn't quite right. It shouldn't be, but it kind of feels like it. Oops, that's not a cutscene. <laughs> What the fuck, dude? Get up there. Stop being slow. I've been really slow. This split. Slow is bad. Um, let's see. Unequip Royal Crown from Goofy, Lady Luck and Royal Crown over Ifrit's Belt, so you get that taken off. Lady Luck, uh, Royal Crown over this. Touch save for MP refill, have Elixir ready. Okay, should be fine. And this'll be Lady Luck's last uh, usage, because we're about to get Diamond Dust after this fight. Maybe my notes will prove me wrong, but pretty sure this is where I'll, well, this is the last fight where we use it. Am I crazy or is this ice time like insanely, like ridiculously fast <laughs> compared to what I'm used to? Like, bruh, there wasn't even a fucking fight. <laughs> Holy shit. I, 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 I base, I almost two cycled the motherfucker. That was insanely fast. Holy shit. I wasn't really paying that close attention, but then I realized he had like half a bar left afterwards and I was like, what the fuck? That's crazy. Like, did, uh, did a cycle happen I just didn't even fucking pay attention to? Because, <laughs> like, he, this dude's fucking dead. Um, Diamond Dust, Omega Arts, Ifrit's Belt, Raven's Claw, and Goofy. Omega Arts, Raven's Claw, Ifrit's Belt. Um, EXP Ring on Donald's. 
Two elixirs, four megas on Sora. Customize Blazaga to this. Okay. Well, mixed bag. Some good, some bad. Favorite super boss in KH1? Uh, probably Kurtzisa. Really fun, really well designed fight. Very challenging. I enjoy it. Swap Donald with Peter. Uh, and just do the fight, I guess. Okay, it is bedge time. Everyone go to bedge. <laughs> Sefi's my second favorite, but Kurt I think I enjoy more. This fight's cool in practice, in concept, but the execution of it is kinda lame, <laughs> sadly. Yeah, this is somehow not the worst super boss in the series, despite being their very first one. <laughs> Why is his dick his heart? I mean, yours isn't. What's worst? Uh, starts with M and ends with uh, mysterious figure. Normally attack me right away, Mr. Sir. I don't like that. I will give KH3 credit, they made young Xehanort actually fun to fight. <laughs> but, uh, not really a fan of him otherwise. Didn't really like his fight in 3D either. It was better than his BBS fight, obviously, but I don't know if that's really saying much. Come <laughs> on. 
Yeah, Yuzora seems pretty interesting. I don't really have much to gauge off of him currently, because we barely met him, but... Interested to see where it goes, but for right now he seems... okay. I wouldn't say really cool. <laughs> Until we learn more, but... curious. I appreciate Yuzora for, like, the no fucks given mentality. <laughs> he, he doesn't give a shit, he just does what he does. Like, uh, I like characters like that, to be honest. Wake up, nap time is over. Unequip EXP zero. For Hurricane Blast. And put Lucky Strike back on, that's important. <laughs> equip Tornado on Goofy. If I don't have uh, AP, equip Second Chance, okay. Tornado, uh, make sure Lucky Strike is on Donald's, uh, MP Rage for Lucky Strike, okay. Uh, Thundaga over Blizzaga, and now we start probably the most annoying, uh, grinding in the entire run. <laughs> Although Deep Jungle is not very far behind, but I, I hate this shit, so let's have a fun time now. Good old Jet Balloon. Jet Daddy, no. Never put those two words together again. Unless you're talking about Jet Tila. <laughs> Big difference. Ah, oh, he's going off the fucking boat again. Fucking. Oh, your boy is a fucking MLG pro. Not today, dude. Give me that shit. Well, amazingly, Neverland is starting off very well for Synthesis. My heart skipped on that? Dude, my heart stopped beating a few hours ago. I don't know how the fuck I'm alive. <laughs> Someone help me. I could have gotten another thing. I thought I, I cleared this wave out. Well, it's too bad.
What does Bambi do? Drop synthesis items, which I very much need. Thank you for a spirit gem drop, I appreciate yeah. that. Ooh, a second spirit gem, Bambi, you shouldn't have. I'd go as far as to say that Neverland is actually going quite well so far. But uh, that can change in an instant, so we shall see. <laughs> I don't know yet, but we're off to a good start. Jet Balloon is scared to show up because uh, it understands I, I came prepared and you can snipe the drops <laughs> out of the air without a care in the world. No, that was a rare truffle. Bambi's got the goods in this particular visit. I like it. You've given me all that good shit. Okay, maybe not that time. <laughs> but still, if I see at least one spirit gem every time I come down here, I'm happy. Your boy couldn't do it twice, unfortunately. <laughs> At least I got one, but uh, Jet Balloon's a pain in the ass. Thunder. Thunder. Not a big deal, Thunder. though. Yeah, I caught one, that's fine. I should get a tally on my spirit items as well. Gem, nine and three. I need 13 and seven, <laughs> respectively. Isn't that interesting? For uh, maximizing my uh, synthesis. So nine and three, need 13 and seven, respectively. Thought you said Jeff Dabloons? Yeah, fuck that guy too. <laughs> Thunder. Thunder. Sounds like a nerd. <laughs> Did I unequip EXP zero? Okay, just making sure, because uh, <laughs> I haven't been paying attention to see if the numbers are popping up, just uh, the red boxes. Damn KP, that's some strong language. Make sure you don't catch your mom uh, seeing you type that. My mom would be would be upset if I typed that. Ooh, lucid crystal. Me likey. I like lucid. 
Spirit gem as well, good. Now if Jeppelin would just show his face again so I can get more items, that'd be cool too. Do the rare truffles show up here like every other time? What is going on, dude? Okay, fine, whatever. Like, I'm getting rare truffles more than I can get in the regular enemy spawns. It's unusual. I fire when falling down the hole, <clears throat> so I don't grab the ledge. It's similar to why we do it after anti Sora. I doing for those now? Uh, I just need one spirit gem and I'm done. Okay. Uh, Jet Baloo needs to start showing up now. <laughs> wow, really? Already? Crazy. You fucker. Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> you idiot! So one Spirit Gem, one Dazzling Stone, and I can leave. Which means I could be out of here very soon, or out of here in a very long time from now. <laughs> Depending on how things go, but uh, fingers crossed it doesn't take me five years to find a Spirit Gem here now. Bambi drops uh, Spirit items. Whoa! There's a lot of crystals. <laughs> Excellent. Wow, Bambi coming in clutch, dude. Thank you. You did very well in this visit. Now I just need one Dazzling Stone I can get the fuck out of here. So Jeppelin is now my new arch nemesis. <laughs> As opposed to him not being it before. But... Let me just double check that. Yeah, okay. So, one Dazzling Stone and I can peace out. So hopefully this dude doesn't fuck me over too bad. Come on. <laughs> Where are you at? Thank you. Where's the stuff? Ah! Oh! Thank you. <laughs> oh, that was so lucky. Okay, let's get the fuck out. Wow, this visit was actually quite good. This was a very good Neverland. <laughs> Alright, cool. Yeah! 
Yo, Mason, thank you so much for the six months, my dude. How's it going? Hey, neat. Indeed. <laughs> Welcome back to the Mist Continent and enjoy the emotes you can use on Twitch for the next 30 days still. And congrats on your Aqua Wayfinder badge. Looking snazzy. Was that a blue? No, it was 30 seconds off, but still very good, considering the split's 20 minutes long. <laughs> that means my RNG was very, very close to being a best, which is excellent. Bambi drops synthesis items in this particular world. Uh, Bambi drops power items. And simultaneously with Bambi, I can farm uh, lucid items, which is the item that, uh, what's it called? I can farm with Bambi and Monstro when I eventually do the revisit there to get the last bit of goodies and whatnot. But effectively with Bambi, I'm farming uh, lucid items, uh, the blazing crystal and uh, power gems, which I need. I need to summon Bambi. Cheater. Don't do that. Now if I can get one more here, we're in good uh, standing. Excellent, okay. That means I'm likely, to, if I have a good fight like that the second time around, I'm very likely to get uh, what's it called Chimera done in two treks instead of three, which is a lot faster, so pretty good. Because I need, uh, seven... No, not seven. I need... Yeah, I do need seven Blazing Stones, and I got four of that track. So, uh... If I get three the next time, I don't have to fight Chimera again, which is a big time save. Or it's a lot faster than having to do it three times, so hope for the best.
I'm pretty sure, yeah, I was gonna say, I know there's more Dark Balls that spawn here than just that. Come on, dude. They, they, they were late. Don't do this to me. Damn. I think I am just shy of one more thing, which is obnoxious. It's okay, though. Unless there's like two more enemies over here or something. Oh, thank you. Okay, that's cool. Why does every world spawn dark balls? Because Ansem is back in commission and he's like, ha, <laughs> I'm gonna put my dark balls in every world because it's funny, epic gamer joke. Fire! I don't know. Fire! Huh? What do you mean? Why do these dudes, these dudes like never show up here? <laughs> I, I don't understand. I'm a lurk. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy new year. Thank you so much, Joey. Back at ya. Da -da 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 -da. I didn't get much from Bambi that go around. No, I did not. Unfortunate. Got like one or two fucking items. <laughs> uh, kind of bad. Hello, rare truffles. Goodbye, rare truffles. Mushrooms are loving me today, man. What the heck? Give me strength. Rare truffles in Neverland. Black fungus in Moonlight Hill. Rare truffles on the path to Oogie Manor, Manor Ruins, whatever you want to call it. It's wacky. Blazing uh, stone, so we're looking in very good shape for getting one more before this fight's over. But I'm gonna finish this fight off because I can get one extra thing from Bambi if I kill the rest of the enemies here. So I wanna see if I can get something. But uh, Chimera is dealt with. And I got a power gem on top of that. Wonderful, excellent. Now that's all, all settled and done. I need 11 power gems and I can leave the world. I already got the arrow arts as well from cycle one, so we're in great shape. Aroga does work for this, but I don't have it, and it's not worth the trek to go back into worlds. Um, Power Gem, I need four more of those, so I could be out of here relatively soon if Bambi cooperates. Did I get the friggin... No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> I was like, did I get Black Fungus again? I can't even tell.
So, four power gems and I get out of here. Is where we stand currently. Shard, not a gem. Thunder. Thunder. Here. Thunder. Here. Thunder. Here. Three more power gems. Bambi, no, you scammed me. <laughs> what the heck? I, I filled the meter up one more time, Bambi no give me item. <laughs> it's annoying. It's a weird thing if you like, if you fill it up at a particular point in his animation cycle, he doesn't give you anything and it's bullshit. Um, I don't want that spawn. I want something else. Give me strength. Give me strength. Need two more power gems. Thunder. One more power gem. This is good. Hopefully, I can get it this room. But if not, that's okay. Hello, <laughs> Dark Balls. Please show up. Thunder. Damn it! <laughs> Sorry. I mean, this this has been okay, but uh, ideally I w I'd be done with uh, synthesis in this world already, if it was good, but whatever, man. Yo, Grey Knight, what's up, dude? Hope we're doing well. You would dip? Well, I can't really get power gems unless I go back to Neverland, because none of the other enemies drop that, so I'm going to be short an item <laughs> if I don't finish off in here. Yo, Cat, thank you. I think I just saw a power gem right there. Yeah, I did. Let me just double check. Um, 11, yes, okay, let's go. Not too shabby. Synthesis luck has been adequate this run. Not spectacular, like I'm pretty sure I'm behind my PB if I were to check. But it hasn't been like bad per se. It's like if I have really good luck in, in the last few worlds, I can probably still improve this. Just not looking fantastic right now. How's run so far? I'll check, why not? I'm actually three minutes ahead. What the fuck? When did that happen? <laughs> oh, this run is like way better than I thought it was. Huh, how about that? Oh no. But I think I have like an insane split in monster that's gonna come fuck my day up. Let me see. Oh no, I have a lot of time to save in this world too. Never mind. Um, this run's actually pretty not bad. <laughs>
I'm pleasantly surprised. I thought I was red for sure, but uh, I guess Neverland went very well for me. Is my only thing that I can guess. I guess I can look over the run after it's over, though. I only need one instance of three though. So if I get it, if I get three the next two times I go to Grand Ghost, that's still optimal. So not a big deal. I only need seven. So just one, like two sets of two and one set of three is all I need. Um, Lucid Gems, let me take a gander at that. Would be nine. I have nine? I only need 13. <laughs> uh, cool. I might not have to be in here for very long if that's the case. Holy shit. I must have gotten a lot of lucid gems from Halloween Town then, because that's crazy nice. And I got a blaze gem drop. Holy shnikes, dude. <laughs> RNG is like actually very, like it's not being insanely good, but it's being quite good compared to what I'm used to right now. I need three more lucid gems. It's all good, Hyper. Thank you very much and take care. Have a good one. Nice seeing you again. Scream if you need a mod. <gasps> no. <laughs> I won't scream into the mic, don't worry. That's that's bad. But you have a good one. Do it? No. I don't have a reason to. Uh, drop down here. Thunder. here. Thunder. Here. Thunder. 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 Lucid Gem, I need two more of those. I need one more of those. I can't believe this, dude. I'm done with Lucid Gems already. I don't even need to use Bambi anymore after this. What the fuck? Uh, cool. RNG has been very kind to me these last few worlds, like starting from Neverland, we've been very well off, and I'm quite surprised. <laughs> Make sure I grab that uh, thingy over there first. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, get out of my way. fucking red nocturne that those two fucking red nocturnes what the fuck man that that, that fucking fad man just fell and died <laughs> that's messed up Fire. 
Oh, give me a fucking break. I shouldn't have jumped. Don't spawn any more enemies, please. I need to open that chest. Thank you. And now I need to get a few more things from Mr. Grand Ghost. But I think my lucid gems are all set. I can double check that before I leave, though. Oh my god, this camera is like, actually- What the fuck is happening?! Okay. <laughs> Get in there, dude. Holy shit, that was impossible. No, there is no chest tracker for plats. You just need 100 of them. Three? Thank you. Okay, that means we're getting the optimal, uh, Grand Ghost visits. This monster is very fast as well. I just need to go out one more time. That should be enough to reset the spawn. And I just need one more Grand Ghost to show up. This should help. And we're done. Cool. I think. <laughs> Lucy Gems 13, yeah, we're definitely all set. Wow, very good. Very, very good. Synthesis has been very, very good since uh, Neverland. Uh, I'm kind of far ahead right now of PV. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll keep that comparison going, I guess, because it looks pretty good, but I'm scared for it to like just disappear on me. Um, unequip ours and strike raid. Where are you at? Equip air combo plus one and two. Equip Ragnarok and combo master. MP rage on Donald if it's not already there. Okay. Um, MP rage on Goofy if it's not already there. Okay. Um, and let me save the game just in case. Bad shit happens. This is probably the worst world left in terms of synthesis because Pinkagaricus farming is really obnoxious. Let me just double check that I have Lucky Strike on everybody. Yes, okay, it's fine. Yo, JP, what's up, dude? Nothing much, I hope you're doing well. Happy New Year. Time for pain? Yeah, this visit in particular is really obnoxious. I mean, all of them are to an extent, but I would say next to uh, Neverland, this is the worst world in the game for uh, plot in terms of cleanup. Thunder gems, which is kind of a sedge. I'm looking for thunder shards, thunder gems, uh, serenity powers, bright shards, and lightning uh, stones. Nothing from Bambi the first uh, way through. Kind of bad. It's alright though. Yeah, this would be the big uh, worry for concern, because I had a very good split here in PB. So if I don't get good RNG here, I'm losing most of my lead, but things have been very good to be uh, 
where I am right now, so I hope that it continues on my behalf. If I can survive this world without taking too much of a hit, I would say PB actually has a pretty decent chance of happening, but I'll have to wait and find out. No guarantees on shit, obviously. But much better run than I thought it would be at this stage. Although Bambi seems to uh, have stopped giving me good items now, so I'm kind of getting a bit scared. <laughs> no red boxes makes me a bit nervous. There we go. Thunder gem. That one box is just jumping and vibing. <laughs> I don't know if someone saw that shit. That was good. It was like my fucking Mexican jumping beans uh, synthesis item. That was, uh, that was fun. Do I do predictions? If a mod uh, wants to, but uh, that's up to them. <laughs> New emote. <laughs> item hype. Just red box just jumping up and down. Okay, Bambi was very good that visit, or that, uh, loop anyway. Yo, what the fire truck, what up dude? Thank you very much for the three months, happy new year, hope you're well. Dad, I'm six hours late, it's okay son. Dad's still going strong and he's happy to see you. Welcome back to the Mist Continent and enjoy the emotes you can use on Twitch for the next 30 days still. And I would like to say happy new year to you as well, thank you. I hope we're doing okay. Give me strength. I mean, I'm sad I'm six hours late. <laughs> I mean, that's fine, too. I kind of got the impression. Nice elixir drop. Elixirs are cool. Nice, that's a power crystal. I'll grab that in a sec. Slidey. But if you want to be dead, that's cool too. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> we can uh, we can discuss this. Ah oh, man, I was hoping it was a uh, oh. No, that's a power shard, I think. <laughs> I was gonna say I was hoping it was a uh, a thunder gem, but it's okay. Thunder, here. I need to get a tally on my uh, thunder items. Where are they at? Thunder gem four. Oof. <laughs> I need eleven more of those. That's uh, it's not great. Could be worse, I guess, but I don't know about that. Oh, it's time for a dancey boy. Stop. Mr. Wiggleman. Ah, what do you mean? Uh, my party members like canceled my glide. That's bullshit. <laughs> I was like, how did my cli how did my glide not go through? And they just ran into me. It was kind of annoying. It's okay. Wind. Stop. Power. Stop. 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 Uh, Goofy, MP gifts, MP gifts, MP gifts, MP gifts. No, okay. Oh, well, that's cool, I guess. They're stuck somewhere, and Goofy can't give me it. That's too bad.
Well, at least I got two, but uh, Goofy not giving me MP gift kind of hurt me there really bad. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I appreciate that. Hey, Angel, thank you for the good luck, and thank you for the Happy New Year. Same to you. Well, that was too bad. If I'm very lucky and no nonsense happens, I could get five the next time, but not in my favor. In theory, and this would happen in a TAS, you literally only do <laughs> one cycle, and you can get seven Serenity Powers if you get the best luck possible, but it's so ridiculously low chance it, like, never happens. Best I've had is two cycles, or, like, two trips. But in theory, a uh, one cycle could happen, but good luck with that. If you get five next attempt, I'm banning myself. Are you sure? <laughs> I think the best I've ever gotten is six. So, I mean, I don't think five is the most unreasonable thing to ask when you have all the lucky strikes going, but who knows. It's not likely, but it's not the most impossible thing in the world. Bambi's been average with RNG in this uh, visit so far, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> I would just like to see like one, to, like two Thunder Gems a cycle is really good. One is okay, none is really bad. And if like I think if you're very lucky, you can get three, but that's that's asking too much. Thunder. I'm hoping I get one more Thunder Gem right here. That'd be nice. Thunder. Yeah, it's too bad. One Thunder Gem. For some godforsaken reason, you need to get 15 Thunder Gems, which is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> like, there are certain ones where it's like, okay, I mean, that is a lot, but 15 Thunder Gems is quite a bit. I think it's individually, like, the most of an item you need. In terms of just, like, general stuff. Although Lucid Shards take the cake, you need, like, 42 or some shit. Or, like, 37. But for the rarity, 15 is quite a lot for that, and it's really, really not good. Thunder. Screwdrivers are too slow to farm, thunder. unfortunately. Fire. They're also immune to thunder, so, uh... There's no good way of actually, like, dealing with them in mobs in Atlantica. Pretty bad. Here. Aside from just, like, Blazaga spam, I guess, but that's slow.
thank you to Thunder Gems this visit. So, not bad. Unless I'm not really sure what the uh, Aqua Tank slash Screwdiver spawn rate is in a post Riku or post Kairi Rescue Atlantica, to be honest. Thunder. Thunder. Oh, wow. Uh, three Thunder Gems in one visit. That's really, really good RNG. <laughs> Thank you, Bambi. Ten, only need five more, that's actually not that bad. Ah, oh, it's you. Let's hopefully not have Goofy get stuck this time, so he can give me MP gift. Ah, oh, I hear a thingy. Ah, oh, you bastard. <laughs> Hiding all the way up there, how could you? Are you kidding me? Whatever. Motherfuckers are stuck again, aren't they? Where are you at? Show yourself. <laughs> I don't want to have this happen again, man. There you are. Okay. Turn around, please. One, two, oh man. Ah, uh, no. I got four of them. Ah, nuts. <laughs> uh, I need one more serenity power. That's unfortunate. If I got five, that would have been so cool. It's okay. Well, if fucking Goofy didn't like disappear into god knows where I would have gotten more than two my first attempt. God damn it, dude. How's Splatoon going? Uh, pretty well, actually. But I'm, I don't want to jinx anything. Still plenty of RNG to fuck me over in this game if it chooses to, but we're in decent shape. Same reason that certain backdrop effects uh, happen when enemies do their desperation move. I think it's meant to be encapsulative of uh, Sora doing what's basically a desperation move in terms of general moveset, if that makes any sense. I guess just for emphasis. It could just be because they just felt like it, but that's the most realistic uh, explanation I can think of. Ars Arcanum is basically Sora's desperation move anyway. He just spams the shit out of it, like Kurt Zisa. <laughs> it's really good. Goofy MP gift isn't a powerful move. Excuse me, good sir. <laughs> I would heavily disagree. It is one of the most broken things in KH1. I know it doesn't like actually deal damage and shit, but uh... No! My power crystal! <laughs> I didn't think it would fall down like that. Uh, <laughs> it was too late when I committed. It's okay, I fight a bunch of wyverns in Traverse Stone. I'll probably be fine with that. Really does suck though. If I'm short one now, I'm gonna remember that. <laughs> so two Thunder Gems and one Serenity Power, and we Gucci. Thunder. 
You gotta give it to me this time, Bambi. Please. Two Thunder Gems for your boy. I would be so happy. Not. Oh, there's one right there. Please. Perhaps. Unless. No, dude. <laughs> I have one more chance. And I could cut out an entire loop around if I get the Thunder Gem, like, right here. Come on, Bambi. Come on, Bambi. I believe in you. Just one Thunder Gem, and you're done for this world. You don't want me to go all the way around again. Surely not. You're cool, thank you very much. Okay, Bambi synthesis farming is done here. here, here. I still need one Serenity power. And then I can do the second half of this uh, world, so. Thank you, Garakis! Where are you at? I can tell that wasn't it because the load was really long. No, I don't think so. All the long loads, dude. Give me a fast load, please. There we go. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> that was stupid. Here. Oh no. <laughs> Don't be in a bullshit spot, please. I hate this. Bad RNG. You up here? No. Oh no. <laughs> He's all the way up there. Ah. <laughs> Why? Oh, that's so annoying. Now, where is party members at? Okay. Dude, he's shrugging me. I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, he genuinely does not know. Okay, well, uh, I don't need anything else, so peace out. Um, Omega Arts and Divine Rose on Sora. Oops. Uh, Goofy, give me Omega Arts, please. And now part two of farming begins. I did get the Prime Cap. <laughs> I got it the first time I got uh, my first set of, uh, what's it called? Yo, Pistol B, thank you so much for the 43 months at tier 3. Holy shit. Thank you, dude. Close to 4 years as well. That's nutty. 43 months as well. Jeez. Welcome back to the Mist Continent and enjoy the emotes, the old school emotes, and uh, the money emotes you can use on Twitch for the next 30 days still. Thank you so much, bud. No fucking bright shards, what the heck? That's lame. I do mean that. Oh, yo, what up? It's the impossible minigame that everyone never enjoys. RNG is, uh, is a thing with this guy. Please. 
Don't be dumb. That's so lame, dude. Uh, he just doesn't feel like giving me his, uh, his drop. Yeah, I have no idea where that one was, to be honest. Sounds good, cat. Take care. Thank you for the good luck. Middle? Oh my god, I can't believe I got that right. <laughs> I trusted my instinct and somehow I kept up with that. I was like, it's either middle or second from the right, but I wasn't sure. Why they made this minigame so hard? Good question. <laughs> Level 4 is like... Almost impossible unless you get an insanely lucky spawn somewhere. Like he's on the very edge and just fucks off for like five years. I need a count on my bright shards. Where are they at? Bright shards. I only have one. Oh no. <laughs> that is so much less than I was hoping to see. Oh god, I was hoping I had like five. We might be here for a while. Okay, maybe not. I just got three of them like in two seconds. This might actually not be that bad. I need, uh, 13 Bright Shards. Japanese would probably save, like, three to four minutes in this category. Ish. But it's, it's the category is so RNG intensive that it wouldn't really help that much. Sounds good, Zero Cooler. Take care. Are you fucking kidding me? Why would you do that? Ah, oh, RNG minute for the bright shard drop. I got you, Donald. It's okay. I understand now. RNG mini game. RNG drops are dumb. Far left. Yeah. Okay. That one was a little hard for me to keep my eyes on, but time for the hard one now. Far right. Wow. I I popped off during that mini game. My goodness. <laughs> I'm good. All right. I just need one lightning stone and however many uh, fucking bright shards. I need four more of them. Okay. Four bright, one lightning. Oop. Now, if this game was really cool, it'd give me it right now when I hit this guy. No? Okay. <laughs> We're actually almost done with Deep Jungle, which is crazy. Well, <laughs> we'll see. If the if time permits. Thank you. Okay, good. Black Ballad was very good. Now I need four bright shards that I can leave, and I won't lose too much time. One. 
Did I just get like three of them right there? I might have. I think I literally just got everything I needed like in that exact room. <laughs> I need to go back and check, hold on. Nice, shiny crystal. Oh my god, RNG is on my side right now. What the fuck? We're done. Oh my goodness, dude. What the fuck? That's crazy. <laughs> Oh, this run is, uh, this run has had very good RNG across the board. Um, Diamond Dust on Sora. Uh, Bambi in, in preparation, and I guess I'll save the game, because it's been a little bit, so why not? Blue Split means best I've ever done a segment. Still no Wizard's Relic? It usually doesn't pop up until Traverse Tone anyway, I'm not that worried. I'll be worried if I'm searching for it for like 50 million years <laughs> and I haven't found it, but it's not a big concern currently. Why is he spinning? So I can hit multiple Giga Shadows simultaneously that are all around me. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, sorry. Give me strength. Best friend, yay. The Platinum Trophy run really was the friends we made along the way. I think. Shadows, please. Thunder. Thunder. Uh oh. And uh, Dumbo. Dumbo, Dumbo! Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they spawned really quickly that time. I didn't like that. Okay. They chased me into the fucking corner. <laughs> what up, dudes? Do I only need Giga Shadows? Yes, because uh, when they do show up, I get like a, like 30 normal shadows, which I also need to farm uh, Lucid Shards with. And simultaneously while I farm Lucid Shards, I can farm Frost Shards and Frost Gems. 
After I deal with Giga Shadows uh, three times, I can just leave after the third wave of Normal Shadows, though. So I need to do this whole room one more time, and then just the Shadow Wave after that. I need 37 lucid shards, that's what my notes say. Because dark matters are very mad expensive with lucid shards, and we need to make a few of those. Okay. I'll need to get a tally on my frost items, where are they at? Uh, six, I need... What's it called? So I need 10 of those. So that becomes the next priority, is uh, Frost Gems. Once I get 10 Frost Gems, I check Lucid, and then after Lucid, I'm done. Oh, come on, dude. Give me strength. You hate the number 31? That's too bad. Bambi is really popping off, man. <laughs> My goodness, I just got like three or four frost gems in the same fucking thing. <laughs> Am I like done with Wonderland already? Like, Christ. Uh, not really. Lucid, where's Lucid? I need a lot of Lucid shards, but I'm like done with fucking frost gems and items already. That's crazy. One frost gem. And then just like 15 Lucid shards and I'm out of here. This has been insane. <laughs> Yeah, once your stock hits 99 of a specific item, you can't pick anything up. You even get a special message if you try to stock an item when you have 99. It's like, no, you idiot, you don't have space. <laughs> Somehow. So, it's, uh, it's epic. Scamby didn't give me my frost items. Gave me the one that I needed though, and uh, Bambi is now done. Now we need like 12 lucid shards and I can leave, so we're actually in very good shape. In the event that, uh, I don't get royally fucked, I'll save a few more minutes here, but we'll find out. Thunder. Thunder. Here. Here. Thunder. Here. Okay, well, uh, I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Eek. One lucid shard. One goddamn lucid shard out of, like, 30 shadows, dude, how <laughs> actually impossible. I got one out of 30, which is not very good, considering I have three lucky strikes. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's a very common drop by comparison to most things. Thunder. Thunder. Give me a break, dude. Oh, you 
fucking serious. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I need like 10 more. Nine more. Eight more. Twenty nine, uh, thirty seven. I need eight more lucid shards. Thunder, 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 thunder. Seven more. Six more. Yeah. Five more. Thunder. Better room this time. Okay, five. I got like three, I guess, which is better than nothing. I should be done in two more cycles if I have decent RNG. One more cycle if I get good RNG. Which means I should be saving like two to three minutes here. In the best case scenario. Four more. Thunder. 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 Three more. Thunder. Thunder. Three more. Two more. Thunder. Thunder. Here. Unfortunate, I'm not going to get the last two that I need. I need one fucking lucid shard, are you serious? <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, that's such a meme, dude. Fuck you. If I get it, like, instantly, then it's not a big deal, but still, come on. It's so, so dumb. Thunder. Thunder. Okay, let's get out of here. Let me double check one thing while I'm here. Okay, we're fine. I was just making sure I had enough mystery goo. Everything else looks good. Yes, it does. Can I sell you stuff? Okay. Um, sell the Matsutake and Shiitake rank. Oh, I'm supposed to do this in the fucking item store. <laughs> so where the Orichalcums are. That's stupid. Um, two Orichalcums, please. Good. Five power stones, but if you do all sets of these, you're guaranteed to get the drops you need, so just do these until you've done five sets of, uh, six. So I don't really need to count here, I just need to do the minigame correctly enough times. When I see the white fade, I'm done.
Okay, that's it. And that is the end of Special Heartless. No more left to do in the game now. Yo, Squall, what's up, dude? Bambi has done quite amazingly this run. I hope will I will hope that Bambi continues to cooperate for one more usage, but Bambi's been very good compared to what I usually get. Equip jackpots on all characters. I should probably do that now. Uh, jackpot. You have two? No. You have one. Okay. Good. That's fine. I should also want to equip treasure magnet. And make it so that Goofy has all that shit. So take this off, and uh, Goofy can have the treasure magnets instead. It's oh, better. Um, blaze shards and blaze gems are my main thing I'm looking for here. So ten and wow, really? <laughs> I'm almost done with blaze items already. What the fuck? That's crazy. I'm almost done needing Bambi for everything already, what the fuck? <laughs> Give me I don't know, Game Addict, to be honest. It's like a minute faster for any percent. And if we're gonna go by that logic where any percent's about two hours, probably about four to five minutes in plat, something like that. Thunder, thunder. I'm not really sure though. Uh, that's not necessarily true, though, because there's certain loading instances that are not consistent. <laughs> that happened in the first- in the two hours of any percent and then, like, the other eight hours of plat in terms of just general grind and shit, so... I'm out of MP, dude. <laughs> God damn it. Bambi is kind of being disgustingly amazing. <laughs> I, I I don't know what happened, but uh, cool. Like I think I'm done with Bambi already. <laughs> but I'll just keep I'll do this loop out anyway because I have no reason not to. Ooh, wow. 
Uh, how are our blaze items now? Um, all set. Next would be uh, bright gems, which are from Search Ghosts. I don't know if I have any of those, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, where is bright items? Three? Okay. So I gotta rock around and do, uh, what's it called? Nice, another bright crystal. I need, like, one more of those. Oh my god, seriously? <laughs> what is happening? RNG has been really on my side the last, uh, like, the second cycle has been excellent. What the fuck? I don't even understand how, but I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> well, shit, dude. Uh, let me see. Bright Gems 3, how are we doing for Power Crystals? We need two more of those, okay. And I need, how are we doing for Lucid Crystals? Six. Um, I guess we're gonna loop around and start hunting for, uh, what's it called? Start hunting for the Wizard's Relic while I farm other stuff then, simultaneously. Shiny crystal, that's good. Thunder. Four bright gems, okay. Thunder. 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 Oh, there's wizards that spawn there. I'm stupid. Well, rip that. <laughs> it's okay. Thunder. Thunder. I'm confusing what I normally do here with something else. Gotta figure it out. Thunder. Okay, that's five. I need three more bright gems. Thunder. Thunder. Here. Here. Thunder. Here. Thunder. <laughs> Nice. No Wizard's Relic yet isn't a big issue because I still need shiny crystals, so if I get those in place of it, that's fine. Uh oh, I just. There's a sniper wild after me. <laughs> I don't want that. What I should be doing, I should probably go to the synthesis shop. Shop, yes. <laughs> synthesis, synthesis shop. Words. And getting counter plus to speed this up a little bit. Um, let me keep a tab on everything I need right now. So, how many bright gems? I need three bright gems, I know that. I need three lucid crystals. Power crystals are fine. So, three bright gem, three lucid. Um, bright shiny crystals are all set. 
Bright crystals are... where are they? I need one bright... one bright, three lucid... One bright crystal, three lucid crystals, three bright gems. <laughs> Talk to me, Mr. Moogleman. Okay. Um, encounter plus and put on EXP items while we're doing this, because why not? EXP earring. Is there anything else? No, that's, that's it. So three bright gems, three lucid crystals, one bright crystal. So I'm after Dark Balls and Search Ghosts for three items each, and then I need to get a Wizard's Relic after that, so. Okay, uh, strategy for now is to just farm this room until I find the wizard's relic, because I'm probably gonna find, uh, what's it called? Lucid Crystal is on the way. So that's, I think that's my go-to pathing right now. Let's just farm for wizard's relic and see if you can find the other stuff along, uh, alongside that. Two more bright gems. Here. I'm a little bit concerned about lucid crystals, to be honest, but I'll try not to worry about it. Oh, whoops. <laughs> well, whatever. I need two bright gems and two lucid crystals and a wizard relic and a bright crystal. And that's everything. Thank you. Okay, one more lucid crystal. Maybe I was wrong to be concerned about that. <laughs> Which I'm actually quite happy about, if that's the case. So, one Lucid, two Bright Gems. Uh, two Bright Gems. Oh my god, I got two Lucid Crystal <laughs> drops out of three Dark Balls. That's actually nuts in terms of getting lucky, what the fuck. Okay, so two bright gems and uh, one bright crystal, and we in there. I don't think I need that, I'll pick it up anyway. I think I'm fine with shinies. Well, in that case, uh... Bright gem. I guess I'll just go over this loop, loop-de-loop. -loop. I mostly just need a wizard's relic now. That's, uh, unfortunately that's not the relic. Okay. The wizard's relish. Thunder. 
Did I say I needed two more bright gems? Did I get a bright gem just a second ago? I don't even remember, <laughs> to be honest. Too many things going through my head simultaneously. Okay. So I only need one more bright gem then, if that's the case. I think that's it for Bright Gems now. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. I might want to get one more to guarantee that. Windows? What are you doing? Stop it. Defender Shield is a moot point for rarity though, because we farm off of defenders for like an hour, so the odds of not finding one is like insanely unlikely. Thunder. Okay, well I definitely have enough. I absolutely have enough bright gems now. I just need to find the relic. So hopefully it doesn't take too much longer. At the very least, it's not all so bad, because I'm still getting decent EXP for, like, uh, EXP farming, running this loop over and over again, but I'd, I'd really like to find it, like, now, <laughs> so I can just move on with the rest of it, because I am losing gradual time the longer it takes for me not to find this, but it's just very, very minute every time I don't find it.
<laughs> Every time I see a red box spawn, I'm just like, <gasps> and then I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm up and then I'm down just as quick. It's not a uh, not fun. We're looking for a wizard's relic, which is a really, really rare item. <laughs> I thought that was it, but I couldn't tell until the gravity faded. Feels bad. So many shiny crystals and not a single relic. Feels bad. Ugh, man. I really hope that this is not how this run goes down. <laughs> that would be rather unfortunate. But it happens. If it happens, it happens. What are you gonna do? Nothing I can do about it aside from just wait. Have I tried asking them nicely? No, they don't deserve it. They'll give me what I want, or uh, they'll never give it to me. There's no in between. It doesn't matter how nice I am. <laughs> Uh, yes, I grind all the necessary EXP prior to returning to Olympus in this visit. Like, after Synthesis is done, I level up to, like, level 90. And then we go to Olympus for the remainder of uh, EXP that's necessary to reach max level. <clears throat> I'm looking for a wizard's relic because I need one of every weapon in the game, and it's a one in two hundred, like one in two hundred drop rate, so it's pretty rare. <laughs> Unfortunate. It does give me EXP, so I mean, I don't really, like, it's not a bad thing because I kill the Dark Balls in like a second with a thunder a Thundercast, so it's actually beneficial. <laughs> No, there's a level 100 trophy. There is no level 99. If you mean, is there a max level trophy? Yes. The shit's tilting you? I'm used to it. It's not a big deal. I mean, what's the worst thing that happens? I don't PB. <laughs> 
I never go in with the mindset that I'm going to PB in these runs anyway. I just happen to be on a good pace or a good RNG un until like right now. I don't think anyone should ever get invested into a run until all the RNG is out of the way. That being said, this is like literally the last piece of RNG that's preventing me from continuing in the entire run right now. <laughs> so I guess I can kind of understand, but... Still no different than all the other RNG I did get past I did as fast as I could, so... Yo, Travis, uh, run's been very good. Just uh, having a hard time finding a Wizard's Relic right now. Game isn't being very kind in that regard, but... Staying optimistic that we find it. Hopefully soon. I mean, 1 in 200 and 0.5% drop rate is the same thing, so the answer is yes. Because <laughs> 1 in 100 is 1%, so half of that, or double that respectively, would be the same numbers. actually a one in two because it either drops or it doesn't. Fair enough. This is some pretty bad drop luck though. Like this is probably the worst Wizard's Relic drop luck I've had in a run of plot, or one of anyway. I usually would have it by this point, if not like a few minutes ago. I'm synthesis is basically done because I'm I only need a bright crystal to finish it. And I'm going to get a Bright Crystal, like, pretty much by default because of how we grind in 3rd District for EXP, so Synthesis is no longer an issue. Only thing that I need that's out of my control that I can't realistically, you know, get until the game says so is this Wizard's Relic. Which is kind of annoying. Hey Buddhist, how's RNG treating me? Aside from Wizard's Relic, uh, very good actually. I just hope it doesn't take me, like, another five years to find this thing. <laughs> the good news is, if it takes me another five years, I don't have to do any grinding. I can just go right to OC. With how much EXP I'm getting from this alone.
Why do I need a wizard's relic? I need to get, I need a wizard's relic for a trophy where I need one of every weapon in the game. Stab, shields, and keyblades. So I'm pretty much just waiting for the game to let me know when I can stop doing this, but at the time, at the current time, I have to keep doing it. <laughs> so I guess I'll have to wait and find out. Just do some RNG manipulation. Well, if you could tell me how to do that, that'd be nice, since you suggested it. Are you still green? I don't know. I won't know until I start grinding and I know exactly what level I'm at. I haven't checked my EXP in a while. Seventy-one, nineteen, thirty-eight. Yes, I'm still green, but if I don't find a wizard's relic soon, I'm going to be red. I'm like five minutes ahead right now. <laughs> Did I just get two shiny crystal drops back to back? This game is really uh, making fun of me at this point. That's uh, it's annoying. <laughs> so silly. Come on, man. Literally get to, like, the fucking climax of RNG and it just won't, it just won't happen. <laughs> yeah, game's kind of being mean. It's too bad. It's unfortunate too because RNG in this run was quite good aside from Wizard's Relic. It's too bad we couldn't just get past this one last part, but it is the most notorious as far as RNG is concerned. Oh well. <clears throat> Dude, fucking Keck Insane is like my new favorite emote, dude. <laughs> I saw that on VTTV the other day, I was like, this is so perfect. It's very, uh, very appropriate right now. <laughs> it looks like Steve Harvey. <laughs> Steve W. What the fuck is this emote? It's keck insane, dude. It's amazing. Would reloading help? No. If I've been getting a bunch of shiny crystals, uh, I wouldn't really expect uh, Relic to be any different. Just deciding not to help me. Uh, reloading is better for like enemy spawns and whatnot, like actual specialty encounters going through, but these encounters are the same every time, so Wizard's Relic varying shouldn't matter, technically. You can't see this emote? You need to get BTTV. Or FFZ add-on pack. Uh, 
Uh, should be available for Firefox and Chrome, as far as I'm aware. Like, um, either browser I think has the plugin available. I feel like people are more upset than I am <laughs> that a relic hasn't shown up yet. I don't know. I'm just so uh, desensitized to KH1 not cooperating. It doesn't really affect me that much, but unfortunate. For people who want to see an improvement, it might not happen at this point. I won't know until I'm actually done with Traverse Town, but I'm definitely losing time 100% with how long this is taking. Like, at least, like, half my lead is gone already. Like, it'll just happen when it happens, and it's too bad it's just deciding not to really be nice. I got a defender during the Hollow Bastion grinding, like, several hours ago. <laughs> I was actually talking about when I got it, I was like, really dude, I couldn't get a fucking relic instead, because defender means nothing. You're going to get one, almost guaranteed anyway, every run. Yeah, Templarion, thank you so much for the 15 months. Welcome back to the Mist Continent, and enjoy the emotes you can use on Twitch for the next 30 days still. Really appreciate it, I hope you're doing well. What are the leveling choices that were made for the run? Uh, Night Route. Least amount of EXP necessary to hit level 100, which is a trophy. So you pick uh, Night Route, which is bottom options for the uh, FF characters. Wonder how many wizards killed so far? Good question. I'm not gonna check because it's gonna make the grind take even longer. <laughs> so there's no reason to uh, do that. When the run is over, I can check it out. I can check it out, like in my journal. But <laughs> my goodness, dude. Too many is the answer. That is true, any kills over one is way too many. <laughs> I wholeheartedly agree.
Yeah, uh, three lucky strikes turns it into a one in 200 instead of a one in 500. Not that you'd know, you'd think that I'm like doing level one uh, with this relic farming right now. <laughs> Without any lucky strikes. Uh, kind of not obnoxious. It is what it is though. Good lord, dude. Spontaneous 24-hour stream of uh, Wizards Relic hunting. I hope you guys are ready for the entire stream. You, you can't leave until I find it. Or you don't care about me. Oh, hey, there it is. Cool. Only took about 20 minutes too long to find it. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Run is not in good shape. <laughs> For uh, lack of a better word. Uh, don't know the full details yet, but I guess we'll find out. Let's see, uh, 75, I need 15, 30. Actually, hmm, this isn't as bad as I thought. I think I'll lose like seven or eight minutes. I should still be ahead by a few minutes. Still sucks though, lost so much time to that. <laughs> you know what's funny? I saw a defender shield drop right there. That's, uh, that's, 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 that's pain. Games really, really knows how to hit you where it hurts. Spend like half an hour finding a fucking dumbass wizard shield just to find another equally as rare drop by the game's definition literally the next fucking 30 seconds later. <laughs> EXP grinding is all that remains, yes. I also need one more Bright Crystal to finish off uh, Synthesis. I'm um, about roughly 3,000 EXP per cycle here. And once you get to the higher levels, it takes no more than 18,000 EXP. I want that. 18,000 EXP. To hit a level, so every six rooms you level up, and it takes about 20 seconds per room, so you level up once every two minutes, roughly. Um, where are we at? That's done, okay. Uh, what is this menu here? Like, uh, shit. Um, I put on Ultima Weapon. I want Cosmic Arts, Atlas Armlet, and Shiva Belt. So, where is Atlas Armlet? I can't find it. <laughs> there it is. And Shiva Belt, did that say? Yes. I already have Shiva Belt. I want Cosmic Arts. That's the other one. Okay. Uh, Goofy gets seven elements for the MP. Um, EXP ring, EX... Oh, wow. EXP ring, EXP earring? <laughs> I 
Earring, uh, Royal Crown, Ray of Light. So Royal Crown, and I guess this one can be Ray of Light instead. And then Donald can have the other EXP accessory. And now we do farming. What's left for trophies? Max level, uh, all weapons, gummy stuff, and that's about it. Right now I'm focusing on reaching uh, level 90, so I hit level 100 during uh, the final Olympus visit. Gummy stuff is the very last thing that's done in the run. Just finished his first workout of the year. What up, Febreze? Hope we're doing well. Thunder, thunder. 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 Uh, you can make a new profile every time on your PlayStation console, and then just do a run on that. Thunder. Deleting trophies I don't think is a thing for a specific profile, but you can just make another, like, blank profile and just do a run on that if you really wanted to. I'm starting to get a little bit tired. <laughs> the monotony of uh, grinding has already caught up with me with how off, like, I didn't really think about it too much, but then I finally, my, my headspace left the Wizard's Relic grind, and I'm just like, whoa. I'm starting to feel tired because I've been on this run for like eight hours now. <laughs> it's okay though. I'll be curious to see how many uh, wizards I had to kill to find that thing though, it was obnoxious. <laughs> Remind me when the run's over. Nice wizard's relic drop, no, not relic, uh, nice defender shield drop again. This game is so uh, annoying sometimes. Remind me to check the wizard entries in the journal to see how many I defeated before uh, Relic popped up. Because the odds should have been roughly 1 in uh, 200 when I started doing the farm, and I, I know for a fact I killed way more than 200. <laughs> it's probably closer to uh, like 5, 6, 700, maybe even like around 1,000. 1,000 seems a bit extreme, but... I feel like I probably killed around 750 wizards during that whole thing, which is pretty bad. Anyway, I should be looking more carefully at what my level is. 
I have like a little list of notes of what abilities are learned at what particular level and that can tell me how far I have left to go without having to pause the timer. I mean, to be fair, I don't think anyone's gonna remotely even try to cheat a Platinum Trophy run, of all things. You know how fucking long that would take? No one should cheat anyway, but it's like, why would you try to cheat a fucking 10-hour category? It's stupid. <laughs> Well, it would be an all-achievement speedrun, not a Platinum Trophy RTA, if it was on PC, and uh, all-achievements run doesn't necessarily have to abide by real-time at that point. But it is known as a Platinum Trophy RTA because of uh, RTA being the main timing for console games. But I'm sure if a PC version, like a Steam version of this game came out, people would probably... Uh, just change the time method to be loadless. Depends though. Cheating pops up if a category is popular enough. Yeah, all like three people that have run KH1 flat. <laughs> Very popular category. There's only been a handful of plat runs done by people because they're just so insanely intensive with the knowledge and just the general endurance for stuff. Yo, Master of Light. I shouldn't even be bothering looking behind me. I usually do that just to make sure the enemies are dead, but it's also a, a chance to check if they drop an item, but I don't need any more item drops at this point.
Attack boost means I'm level 81, which means I need another 9 levels, which means I need another 18 minutes. Roughly, in order to uh, finish grinding. So combine that with my 59 minutes. I'll be leaving Traverse Town, give or take, at around probably 118, 119, which would be a roughly 8 to 9 minute time loss. So I'm barely ahead at this point, which is unfortunate. I will be probably between one and two minutes screen after the split. But that's not bad, because that means I can still pull off a small improvement if the rest of the run goes okay, but I'll have to wait and see. Run is not dead from that relic, thankfully, and just hindered a bit. Is that JJ time wrong? Well, I think my uh, proud time for JJ is gone now. Because <laughs> I forgot to highlight it, so it's the only one with actual proof. Not that it matters, because I plan to improve that considerably when I do proud JJ anyway. Unless Templeton comes back to improve it. Anything majorly RNG involved going forward at this point? No, but uh, I have to not be slow at, at, Hades, at Hades Cup and... Uh... Well, actually, that's not true. It's RNG whether I get certain uh, blueprints from gummies or not. So yeah, there actually still is RNG. Which could actually end up like making the difference whether this run makes it or not. <laughs> now that you mention it. But usually a run, if it's good, it usually has leeway for whatever happens in the worst case scenario. I'm just going to be unfortunate to not really have any leeway for the last hour, and I just kind of have to hope for the best, but I guess we'll see what happens. If I don't PB because of the Wizard's Relic, that's okay. That being said, I will be, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Tempted to do another plaid run, because if I was able to get that far ahead with the RNG, this run can very much be improved a considerable amount more, but... I don't want to get into that mindset where I'm unironically trying to grind plat. It's just not worth it. You make your choices. Maybe it would be okay to do it once in a while. It's just unfortunate to get that far, and uh, the run gets tarnished at like pretty much the last major huge time loss possible. I know, dude, just because I was convinced that my run, like, can't realistically be ahead by very much. And, uh, this run has proven me otherwise. I, I, there it is, minus 11 minutes. <laughs> I really need to fight the urge to do that, though. It's just, it's not worth it, man. But it's so, it's like, it's right there, though, and I, it's, it's kind of bothering me if I don't improve at least one more time. Am I gonna run the cloud ports on Switch? If enough people want me to, maybe. Thunder, thunder. How many more levels? About seven or eight. Thunder, and then I go thunder. to Olympus. Thunder, thunder. No, I got like a 956, my last uh, platter run that I did. How's the run? 
Apart from losing like a hundred years to Wizard's Relic farming, uh, pretty good. I would say. Violetta is only for, what's it called? Uh, have him having less MP to fuck around during a Pot Scorpion. His weapon loadout doesn't matter at all for this category. If he happens to stop an enemy, he has the staff with the least amount of MP possible. So it's just to cut down on potential nonsense, but uh, it's whatever. Uh, level 84, so I need another 6, which means I need another 12 minutes of farming, roughly. Thunder, thunder. And then I need another roughly minute to get to Merlin's house and grab the stuff. Thunder, 18, thunder. 18 and a half, 8 minutes. I might actually be further ahead than I thought, to be honest. I have to remind myself that that, uh, that 2 minutes for every level is PS4 timing. And there's a- I'm probably saving back very, very small amounts of time every time I go in and out this room, so I might actually not be spending as much time here doing this as I thought. It's so minute that you probably wouldn't even notice it, but it might add up quite a bit after, like, you know, a couple hundred <laughs> room visits, so... Just trying to gauge how much time I'm losing, and from the looks of things, it looks to be about 8 minutes. But that's okay, because I'm 11 ahead, so I can take the hit. Uh, whatever happens last. If you get unlucky, you get 2500 kills before all 30 blueprints, or the 30 blueprints that you need. But, uh, Gummy Ship Collector, or, uh, whatever that one is for 2,500 kills is the last trophy before plot. Oh my god, that's so slow, dude. <laughs> Bad. Hey, Lord Ariatus, thank you for the good- or, Happy New Year. <laughs> or, uh, Happy Good Luck New Year. Good luck on this New Year's year. Year new. Whatever it may be. How many more levels? About five. I learned Vortex just a minute ago, which is level 84 for Staff Road. So my next, uh, level up is 85. OC stands for Olympus Coliseum. Yo, Sirx, what's up, dude? 
New Year has been treating me very well. Thank you for asking and thank you for the good luck. Hope we're doing well too. That is correct. I will have enough EXP. Like when I do the solo cup for Olympus, I put all the major EXP accessories on Sora and then just kind of go from there. And I also fight Sephi with the EXP accessories too to benefit from more leveling. I must have missed a level somewhere. Like, I think I'm hitting level 86 in a minute. Because I've been waiting for level 85 and it hasn't popped up yet, so it must have happened already. <laughs> Combo Plus is the next one I should look out for, because that means I'm level 87 when I see Combo Plus <clears throat> in the top left. Okay, that's level 87, so I need another six minutes, roughly. Seven minutes from now, to be done with this world. I missed two levels, that's how tired I am, dude. <laughs> I, I, the last level I actually noticed was a fucking, like, three levels ago, based on my notes. So, three more levels to go from here. more viewers than Nico B. That's cool. <laughs> thunder, thunder. I guess. I mean, I don't really pay attention to stuff like that. Majoris is, in fact, still here. Thunder, thunder. It feels so weird to me that it's only 10 p.m. because of how early I started today. <laughs> I guess it makes sense given the uh, travesty of a fucking run that I had to do today, but... <laughs> like, it, it doesn't, it's amazing to me I've been live for like 9 hours and it's not even midnight. Like, what the fuck? That's so strange. Thunder. 
Oh no, I agree. It's just I'm not used to that yet because I've only done a few streams on normal person hours. I think I'd like SMT5 as well. I was considering getting it. You watch Carl Jobs? I've seen a few of his videos. I haven't watched him in a while, though. Seems like a pretty cool dude. Have I considered running a Discord for my community? Yeah, I have a few years ago. <laughs> I think that's, uh, level 89? I hope so. <laughs> if it's level 88, we're not looking too good. EXP grind, yeah. I'm trying to hit level 90 so I can hit the max level after I finish off Olympus. Because I still have Hades solo, Hades time trial, and Sephiroth as fights that are required to get plat. And if I hit level 90, then I'll have sufficient EXP in order to do everything else. I definitely was 87 because I got combo plus, but I don't know if I hit 88 or not. <laughs> I think I hit 89. I'll be I know when I'm done farming when I see second chance pop up in the top left because I'm level 90 is second chance. Okay, I'm done. To Merlin's place, quickly. <laughs> Unfortunate, so I lost uh, about five, like I'd probably say five to ten minutes from that wizard's relic thing alone. It's unfortunate. Still okay.
Uh, yeah, normal drive. <clears throat> Nice, good RNG with that. Alexander Blueprint, fantastic. Valifor done, good. Well, not Valifor, but mission three. Go to deep jungle. And then I go from deep jungle to Olympus, just to get any extra, what's it called? Blueprints and or gummy ship kills here. There's time save on my gummy splits or gummy blueprints because I didn't get very good uh, RNG with blueprint drops uh, when I got this time, but I'm going to lose time in OC, I think, because of a route change here. I mean, bad possible time save is zero, so I imagine uh, saving time is probably not going to happen. <laughs> I guess we'll see. I'm getting so lucky with blueprints, dude. What the fuck? That's crazy. My ship is ugly. Yeah. But, uh, but so is Decisive Pumpkin in two, so I mean... Uh, Stapus, EXP, Necklace? Where's Necklace? Uh, Ring? EXP Bracelet and EXP Ring. Go on, Sora. EXP Bracelet. Um, MP Accessories on Goofy. Fuck it, dude, just go, I guess. Doesn't matter. <laughs> and then, uh, anything on Donald, I guess. Fuck it, doesn't really matter if it's built. Doesn't matter. Uh, unequip Ragnarok. Where is Ragnarok? For Ars Arcanum, Strike Raid, equip Second Chance, and that's it. Um, Slapshot as well? No, I don't need Slapshot. And I guess I'll save the game. Got a list with me? As far as, uh, what is concerned. <laughs> the list? What about the list? Thunder. That's the power of the keyblade. I'm happy we get at least some usage out of Ultima Weapon in this category. And not very much because of how late we get it, but still, it's nice. Um, I just know that uh, at level 90, 
I get second chance, and that's when we can leave and just bail out. But as far as, like, what to put on and what is necessary and what I should have, I just have whatever is important highlighted. Like, I have menu notes for everything. God, I'm getting tired, dude. I need to hang in there for a bit. Okay. Sure, I'm ready. We need a 2022 quote. <laughs> They'll pop up, don't worry, eventually. Who painted Hot Rod Flames on my behemoth? Uh, Guy Fury. Wanted it to look similar to what his car looks like. Why restart? MP refill. It checkpoints you every ten matches, and you can just re you can just regain your MP if you just click restart. Re uh, restart. <laughs> re something. Re noises I'm making when I can't find the wizard's relic. Got your food, let's go. Yeah. 
Good old stealth army, taking five years to finish an animation he can't be killed out of. Good. <laughs> Fun aspect about that fight. I mean, it's it's more for the general idea how many wizards I had to kill to get a wizard's relic. Uh, obviously, we're not going to have the exact number because of how things work, but... to stop you because of the way your fucking hitboxes slope down it's annoying this is on proud mode like proud family yeah can i please hit the doggo Thank you. That sounds very bad out of context. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god, 1 HP Andy. Just for fun on Proud? No, because uh, there's a trophy that requires you beat the game on the highest difficulty. So I have to play on Proud mode to get plot. Yo, Arum, what's up? That is the power of the Keyblade. It's the power of Pine Saw, baby. Thunder. Oh, yeah. Did we get a quote this year yet? I don't believe so. Not officially. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. Will I PB? Good question. I don't know. You have to wait an hour to find out. <laughs> Thunder. 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 I'd like to hope I will PB, but I guess we'll find out when we get there. Depends on how good gummies treat me at the very end, and how much time I'm losing for a reroute I did with this. Don't know yet. Miss Olympus Coliseum so far hasn't been spectacular. Bad Cerberus, uh... Not the best behemoth fight, stuff like that. <clears throat> I couldn't find a Wizard's Relic for about five years, unfortunately. That's why I lost so much time. That's pretty much been my only really bad RNG this entire run, was, uh, what's it called? Uh, the Wizard's Relic. Really unfortunate. That's the power 
Seems people are rather upset. <laughs> Relic took so long, and I'm just kind of sitting here chilling. Like, yeah, sucks, I guess. Thunder. I don't know, man. You run a game for eight years, it doesn't really get to you that badly, especially when half the category is luck-based. I don't think I lost 20 minutes, probably close to like 10 to 15, give or take a bit. 20 seems a bit extreme. I probably wouldn't have been able to PB or have the chance to PB if it was actually that much. Nothing to it. Yes, you have to beat Sefi for Plat. That is one of the last things I do in this run. It's over. It's the power of the Keyblade. It's very Keyblade-y. I appreciate that- I always say this every time I do this run. I appreciate that, uh, Square- like, they have Master Defender and Master, like, Magician or some shit. And they went with Blade Master <laughs> for the- for Sora's, and I'm just like, yeah. They probably considered Master Blader, and they're like, oh, that's- that's bad. Let's not let's not make that the the trophy name. Nothing to it. I can just imagine them setting up trophies at the office one day for the re-release, and they they I can see them having a good laugh over that. <laughs> kind of inevitable. dude. Would not be a wizard unless they teleport away at the last fucking micro frame of your attack colliding with their hitbox so that they extend their life by two seconds. It's one of my favorite things about speedrunning KH1. Enemies having to stay alive longer than necessary. It's great. Definitely not frustrating at all.
I was trying to capture that other one, but no luck with that. Unfortunate. That's so satisfying when you do just enough damage after the stop loops. That felt good. <laughs> I needed to do like one or two more hits right after the stop damage ended, and that was kind of cool. Wasn't actually calculated, I just tried to do as much as I could with the stops, and it worked out that way. Arena smaller in the 10th seed? Um, never really cared to check. Uh, I don't think so. Could be. It seemed like a very random uh, thing to change for Hades specifically though, so I don't think so. Oh my god, the backhand on the ki uh, the backhand kill on the yellow, uh, knocked, what's it called? Yellow Opera. <laughs> that wasn't intended, but that worked out very nicely. That was good. I've never been to an Arby's, TBH. No opinion. Hey, Delake Effect, what's up? I had a fantastic new year, thank you for asking. Hopefully you did too. Yo, Wodge, what's up? I dare you to PB? I'll try. I'd rather would have had a truth. <laughs> but you take what you can get.
Really? Mm, annoying. I was like, this motherfucker better not just ran off to the side to DM me. That would have been so annoying. Um, four Omegas, two regular elixirs, so just four Omegas here, and do time trial. I didn't enter, uh, the other matches by accident. Let's go. Because I, I can't quit out of time trial, so I, I won't make that mistake for the rest of the run now. That's good. I've only had Chick-fil-A once, and to be honest, it was good. If people don't like it, that's fine, though. Power the Keyblade. Did you just get my PS5? I've had it for about uh, two months, so I've had it for a little bit, but I didn't get it until like a year after release, <laughs> so I don't know. Planking on the floor with ultimate weapon is pretty epic, not gonna lie. It's more epic than Epic Games Store. It's pretty epic. I don't really like this direction that this conversation is going. TBH. Nothing to it. Uh, 
I don't know what it is, man. My fucking right arm is starting to give out on me a bit. <laughs> I mean, it's not like severe, but it's like, Jesus. I'm getting old. Nice. I thought I was gonna have to do one more cycle, but that was fast. That was really fast. That's the power of the keyblade. Do not quit out here because I'm on time trial. I quit out, I I kill my run. Do not do that. Thunder. I kissed your wife. I don't know why I randomly thought of that one Drake and Josh episode. <laughs> We're getting to those kind of hours now. Thunder. Take that. Thunder. Oh, the fucking arms are just gone. Okay. <laughs> I was like, where are the arms at? But uh, little, to, little did he know, he, he's so powerful, they just kind of like fucking came in like peripheral contact or some shit of the Keyblade and they just like got eviscerated. That's a, that's a fun time, isn't it? Don't you stop. Thank you. Spiders and magic? Oh, shit. Since when? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Ugh. Nothing to no way home reference? I wouldn't know, because I'm not sure. <laughs> Optical illusion. <laughs> How hard is it to fail this time trial at this point? Um, very. <laughs> I don't take very much damage, and uh, yeah. It's cool. Unless, Do I, if Donald stops every wave, you might run out of time because of how long the stop lasts. <laughs> that might be like the only way you fail this time trial. That's, uh, that's one thing I forgot to take into account. Okay. Did you guys know it's the power of the Keyblade? That's the power of the Keyblade, right there. Crazy. That's the power of the Keyblade. <laughs> Holy repeating voice lines. That was a hard fight.
you guys know when you're like level 100, you're like really fucking powerful? You probably wouldn't believe it, but it's true. Like you trivialize almost every fucking potential enemy you can fight in the game when you're max level. Crazy. Yo, Z Donalds, thank you very much. What's world record? 949.59. Is level 100 the max level in real life? I don't know. I haven't gotten there yet. A lot of unfortunate stuff happened at the end of 21. John Madden, Betty White, really sucks. Unfortunate to carry that energy forward to start off 2022. Man. Yeah, I didn't submit this run, uh, but that's okay, because when I PB in about 25 minutes, I'll submit this run instead. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't actually know. Well, I guess I'll have to wait and find out. Thunder. Nice Ultima weapon? Thanks. I went through uh, quite the endeavor to get this. Nice cock. Thank you, Purge. You too. Goddamn fucking stupid ass wyvern, get out of my face. DM skip is basically impossible in this fight. So I just have fun with it. Man, that's so shit. <laughs> I should have done the finisher. I was like, oh shit, I might actually be able to, but then I couldn't. That's lame. Um, excuse me, good sir. You need to, like, die. Thank you. <laughs> DM skip means you uh, avoid a desperation move, which is an attack triggered by someone being at low HP, typically, in the cage series, and it's an attack where they're invincible and you have to survive their onslaught of attacks. Thunder. More prevalent in later cage games, but cage one has a couple desperation moves that are quite obnoxious. Ansem 2, Riku Ansem, uh, Sefi, Kurdzisa, Unknown, stuff like that. Hey, Pistol Pete, how's it going? Not too bad. Hope you're doing okay. Tired but doing great? Same. <laughs> I have a bit of a headache from playing for so long, but I'm hanging in there.
How do I feel about Sefi Super Boston 2? Pretty fun fight. Very easy to cheese, unfortunately. KH1, I think, is more difficult. Not necessarily better, but I think it's a more difficult fight in KH1 than 2. I feel like you have to handicap yourself in 2 to make Sefi a really hard fight. Whereas in KH1, probably not. <laughs> Not that it's an easy fight in general, but it's just, it's much easier in my opinion than KH1's. Thunder, thunder. Yo, Bum Tingle, what up, dude? Finish this run strong? Try, indeed. Let's hope for the best. <laughs> we'll see. Hey, Penultimate? George? Uh, New Year's is good. How about you? It was good, rather, and uh, stream today has been fire, so feeling pretty good. That guy DM'd ya. Too bad. God damn it, Goofy. Harry in the fucking fireball and stunning him, that's annoying. Because when he gets stunned, he usually DMs afterwards like that. At least uh, I didn't get DM'd a second time though, it's fine. Get over here, you evildoer. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah, come on. No, you idiot! Ugh. Every second counts, let's go. Hurry up. Do you really have to push that dude out of the way? Come on now. Silly. Thunder! Thunder! Uh, strike raid, where are you at? Go away. And just a few elixirs, like, yeah, it's fine. And Sephir. You didn't get meteor skip, are you joking, dude? <laughs> oh, come on. I was doing so well with it. Okay. Little, ma little madge about that. It's a silly way to lose time. Oh, <laughs> 
If I got a meteor skip, that would have been fine. It's okay. That's the power of the keyblade. Yeah, it's whatever. Considering I did a reroute where, uh, what's it called? I did gummy stuff a little bit before. I, cause I don't think my PB did that. This isn't even real time loss. I'm just doing stuff from the gummy trophy part now. So this minute I lost isn't even that big of a deal. I think I'll save some time back during gummy trophy split. Either way, this should still be a PB if I'm not stupid. And if it isn't, then it's whatever. Uh, that whole Wizard's Relic situation, like, alone makes this run considerably more improvable. So, I mean, it is what it is, but it'd be nice to come away with a small improvement if I can. So, see what happens. Much better plaid run than uh, a few weeks ago, so I'm happy about that either way. Hopefully we can get a small improvement for our troubles, but if not, it happens, man. If Relic didn't take me so long to find, this run would have been very good across the board. RNG in second cycle was excellent apart from just that one drop. It's too bad. Yo, nice there. <laughs> Really? Wow. <laughs> I got Gummy Ship Collector very early compared to when I normally get it, so the only thing I need to do now is uh, 2,500 Gummy Kills. Damn, that's very fast. That means I can just run the basic route instead of experimenting and running around everywhere. That's really good. I would even go as far as to say that if I uh, hurry up, I could even best segment this split. <laughs> if I already have Collector out of the way, that's huge.
I got very fortunate with gummy blueprints, though. Like I said on the way to OC, I was like, damn, I got like, th like three or four blueprints in that one circle alone. I was like, that's really good. <laughs> so, we on a good, uh, good trek right now. Might as well be running PS3 plot with all these fucking blueprints I'm picking up, dude. Jesus. Kinda wacky. I've gotten like almost every single route blueprint in the entire game. <laughs> Which would accommodate for like 35 out of the 30 I need. Crazy. The gummy mission itself just takes too long, and you can get like 250 to 300 gummy kills between Neverland and uh, Halloween Town very quickly, compared to like the 3 to 400 for a mission that's like twice as long, so the rate is a little bit uh, slow, comparatively. Going back and forth between uh, Halloween Town and uh, Neverland for my testing yields the most uh, hardly ships killed per uh, cycle. in terms of just, like, efficiency. I might actually be wrong about that. But for my own testing, that's what I came up with. This is the most efficient way when you only have, uh... Flying Ace left, which is the 2500 trophy. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Not yet. Maybe this particular gummy route. I'll have to wait and see. Right now it's just a game of pause chip. Like when is the trophy gonna pop up? Just have to keep running this route until it happens. I think I'll get it on this particular uh, gummy route though when I get to Halloween Town. Forty-five on the dot. There you go. New uh, platinum trophy record after like over a year. <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty cool. Too bad it wasn't a forty-four, but I guess we'll keep the tradition alive of uh, flat times. But that's nice. Oh man, fucking Wizards Relic sunk this run, dude. Honestly, this run was really nice apart from Wizards Relic. It's honestly really too bad. Like there were certain parts, like End of the World sucked because I didn't get Gale Drops, but that was like the only bad thing in this entire run for RNG was just Gale Drops in Wizards Relic. Everything else was really nice. Check the count. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I guess we might as well while we're here. My goodness, dude. That was, uh, that was pretty crazy. 